camera boom there we go all right so undeafen unmute check check no. yo all right so now i have i've already got oh shit i've already got the names up there of course uh undo I'm, I'm working on it give me a second uh it, it usually me, uh... one second hold on i gotta figure this shit out here just a second Why is nah you're good my whole damn bedroom um isn't there an option to blur if you click um oops hang on i know there's a way to blur it if you right click where it says video hit change video background there's a blur option and that'll blur your background okay Maybe. Did you, why don't, why don't you just, what is going on here? Why don't you just set it to blur? Did you hear, what the hell? God, it's so difficult to grab things. Yeah, right click where it says video. And. Hello, hello. Oh, hang on, it's like studio, right? Like. No, you do it right there in Discord. Where it. You can do it in Discord. Oh. So where you click video to turn your camera on, right click that and then choose uh, change video background. Oh, change background. Oh. And then you've got blur. There you go. So do you, do you see your name there, Project? Do you see what I added just for you? You're the hip one. Because he is the hip one. Oh, wait, what now? Where? On the stream. Oh, Project's the hip. The hip one, yeah, because you know, because you're so, so hip, as you told us. I, mean, I, I don't hey. think you needed to blur the background. You're, at least your bed was, you know, was made. Uh, trust me, you're definitely uh doing better yeah, than me. I guess. <laughs> Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> All right. Um, who's texting me now? Oh shit. Oh, Dow's texting me something. Oh, yeah, thanks. I need to turn the volume up. Yeah, I guess I don't have to have it blurred, but it's okay. Actually, that looks kind of weird blurred. All right, that should be better now. Is volume good now, guys? Yes, no, maybe, possibly. You guys hear me? Check, check, check. Mike, Mike, check, one, go. two, there one, two. Go. Better, yes, perfect, Noki perfect. Noki speaking, Noki speaking, one, two, three. So, I have... All right, I've got everything up here now. Um, so let's see, where do you guys want to start off? Do you want to just hop right into our main topic, talking about content creation, what goes into it, etc., cetera, etc.? Cetera? Do you want to touch on some of these oh. other things? Just what would you guys like to start with? Uh, let's. You just want to start with uh, what got us into content creation, and. Uh, why don't we give a formal welcome, to, formal welcome to Nokibo here? Nokibo, who's who's that? It's his first. <laughs> what you know about Nokibo? Nobody knows so. what I'm doing. Just kidding. But yeah, uh, thanks for uh, inviting me into this group. I'm a very nervous. Per Just kidding. But yeah, thanks you for inviting me in. Hopefully, I can have some fun insights and conversation with you guys. So yeah, definitely, definitely. Team Nokibo. In the Glad background. Glad to have you. Okay, oh, yeah. okay. Cow. Okay, I think I might be... I need to do that <laughs> on this computer. There we go. I'm like, so they're sliding you up on Discord so you're a little louder for some reason. I'm like, why isn't it going up? Because I'm doing it on the wrong computer. Okay. Um. So, Nokibo, welcome. Uh, we do have a couple other new people that'll be joining us in the future. <clears throat> We've got some... Uh, it was pointed out to us that we didn't have any females, so we've got Patty, Sejin Wong, and Starfire on board. Still waiting back to hear from Rumi, and there's a few other people we're talking to to add to the collective of keyboard streamers for the co streams. Ooh, so awesome. there's that to look forward to, everybody. We're going to start trying to do two a month moving forward. 
probably set some kind of schedule a certain day and all of that and hopefully we'll start going pretty regularly and have you know a set date instead of these just being kind of sporadic as they have been um mm -hmm. also for anyone that has not seen we do have a google form for suggestions if you would like to make suggestions of things that you would like to see things you didn't like to see etc and so forth i just posted the link there there's a suggestion form please feel free to go fill that out let us know what you'd like to see what you didn't like to see what you did like to see etc so on and so forth so like i said a moment ago tonight we're going to be talking about content creation for the most part from you know keep content creation specifically and we're just going to talk about what got us into it what it's like doing it what kind of things we have planned in the future what kind of things where we see content creation going etc cetera, etc cetera. so who wants to start this off i think a good starting place is probably to be what got us into content creation yeah the start of it all yeah noki would you like to start us God off as it. the you know <laughs> initiation by fire as the new guy yeah sure so this is the initiation process huh um but yeah, uh, when I when I started, uh, it was right when COVID first started. Uh, I left my job, which I was in the dental technician field, and I didn't work for like like a year or so. And from there, I was like, you know, my my love for keyboard started to pick up again. And I had, you know, I wasn't working. I had friends that was working, and I just wanted to, I guess, have like a visual video of me doing keyboard stuff and having my IRL friends watching me, you know, just do keyboard stuff, but they're not into keyboards. I'm the only loser in the in the friend group here. And then, um, yeah, I just kind of just did it nonchalantly. I didn't have like any overlays or whatever. And then, um, and yeah, like I just wanted company. That's, that's kind of how I started off with like streaming. I just wanted company just, kind of streamed and then that's 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 about it of, of the reason why i started streaming so yeah i think uh i think covid's definitely you know brought a lot more people into content creation as well as just into keyboards in general project what motivated you to start making keyboard related content uh well, uh, I originally was interested in streaming because uh, my speech uh, therapist uh, said it might <clears throat> it might help because I'm constantly talking to people I don't know, reading stuff out loud, and I mean it has helped me a lot. Um, but yeah, I just like I just like to speak to people while I work on keyboards because I don't know anyone else in the real world that likes keyboards so it's nice to be able to talk to people that like them i'm on the same boat as you projects uh, yeah <laughs> i think everybody I, I, in the I, hobby I can relate yeah 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 yeah, yeah if you're so, if, if you're in a friend group where they'd say like oh we like keyboards we love it when you talk about keyboards they're really not your friends they're just they're just or, kidding around with you or they're your friends and they're just being nice um true <laughs> true true uh triggity i think out of the four of us here right now, you're the newest one to start streaming. Newest, yep. I started I definitely January. got affiliate there really quick, which is awesome. What? Oh well, uh, yeah, it still took me about a month or so at least because I can only stream like once a week, so hmm. it still took a bit. There was one week where I just was like, "Let's just finish this off," because it was the last thing I had to do was actually get stream numbers. So. But yeah, I start in January. I intended on starting in November. So, and really, I mean, yeah, you know, none of my friends are into keyboards. I got any keyboards. Uh, actually, this Saturday is my one year keyboardversary. So, just about exactly one year. And so, in November, it was about. You know, I was in it for like six or seven months at that point, and uh, well, less than that. But so that's when stuff starts coming in. <laughs> we finally yeah. start getting stuff, hmm. keyboards and stuff, and group buy. And so, 
I don't know. By that time, you know, I had already been in everybody's Twitch stream and made friends with people. And, you know, I don't have any real life friends either that are any keyboards. So I wanted to share it with somebody. It's really just, you know, I wanted to share it with the community, my keyboard experience. Uh, that's it. It's, you know, I don't care about actually being a professional streamer or anything, but it's been great. Um, it's got me more involved in the community. I met even more cool people and stuff because of it. So I'm glad that I did it. It's really enhanced the hobby. It's really time consuming. Even uh, though <laughs> of the whole streaming aspect, like yeah, time consuming. Even though I I only do it like once a week, um, it still takes a lot of time. Uh, and you don't really realize how much time it takes until you start doing it. So it's oh, hard yeah. to really be prepared for that aspect of it. But yeah, I don't know. I'm loving it so far. I get, I get all Everybody's that. been great. Everybody is so fucking nice. You're all so fucking nice to me. And everybody, and it's great. It makes it easy, even though we're all up here nervous still and, you know, <laughs> awkward still. Yeah. But you guys make it as easy as possible. Audience, yeah so definitely for me i've been streaming for quite a while actually i let's see what was my introduction to twitch was when i got an xbox one I, I got it like day one drop and i was just looking through the apps there was something called twitch i downloaded it i was like what the hell is this and it was like broadcast your <laughs> gameplay so i was like all right so i did that every now and then you know this was back when i was like a burnout stoner not doing shit with my life, selling drugs and shit. So every now and then I'd play video games. I was like, it's kind of cool, you know? I didn't take it seriously. And then probably about two, three years ago now, I started playing Fortnite with some friends, and they were like, let's stream. I was like, all right. So kind of started taking it more serious, got to affiliate. And then I uh, started playing Command & Conquer Red Alert, the remaster, a lot, and got pretty heavy into that community and was streaming that for a while and then I got into keyboards and I just kind of migrated over to keyboard content like like you said the keyboard community is definitely a really welcoming really nice group so like yeah I, I've enjoyed it there's not any of that toxicity that you find in game communities you know mm. is everybody joining yeah, what, totally. what just happened there I'm trying to get all the names together, and then then it jets them up there in that corner. Let's see. Epsi. Epsi. Hello, Epsi. Welcome, welcome. You are just in time. We've all answered what got us into making keyboard content. What got you into making keyboard content, my friend? Um, I just wanted a new key. And uh, just, you know, I was I was willing to spend, like, you know, two, three hundred dollars on on the keyboard because I was like kind of be one and done. And I did my research, and then I kind of found the custom hobby, but I didn't really get anything in particular. Um, I got uh, what is it? A, is it a? It's a. It's got a number. It's a hex keyboard, not the probably the hex keyboard you know. It's the AliExpress one. It's like a hot swap, um, one hundred four keyboard. Uh, I have box whites, which I liked. I still like box whites. Um, Not bad, yeah. Uh, and then, yeah, I, I guess I kind of was in the hobby for like half a year. And um, some of my friends were in it and things like that. And then eventually got a F18X from Gion. And then that was it. Hmm. That, was, that was pretty much it, yeah. But um, but before, before I got the F18X, I had already started... Um, streaming and i was thinking about streaming um just as the pandemic kind of hit uh, so I had, so you know like i had already gotten all my gear before all the prices had gone up on you know webcams and things like that and before they were out of stock like you know so i was kind of kind of mm -hmm. lucky on that you know i got my logitech for like 40 bucks instead of 120 same, same. <laughs> yeah Definitely um same uh yeah that's pre that's pretty much it the in the new zealand scene it's pretty small like when i joined it it was really small 
you know, like a meetup would be, you know, 20 people maybe. Um, and yeah, now it's, now there's probably a good solid 100 throughout the country and, you know, probably maybe like 200 if you don't count the kind of casuals. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Okay. So since I think Hammer Brothers you... asking Epsi, Hammer Brothers okay. asking, how did you meet Gok? How did I meet Gok? At the first meetup I went to, well, he, he was on the Discord. Um, so I knew, obviously knew him from there. And then when we meet up, because he was the one that uh, ran the meetup, he, he ran the first three by himself. So the first one was like three people, like literally three people. Um, and then the next one had like 10. And then the next one, the third one I was part of, that was like the one that was about 20 people. And then um, I kind of took over after that. Like he was helping me, but like he just let me do whatever I kind of wanted to do. And I kind of just put it on steroids. Epsi. Um, so I went from, yeah, went from 20 to like 65. Epsi, what are, yeah. what are you, what are you clicking away at there? Hmm? Is, is that you clicking, clicking your mouse that I was hearing? Am I the yeah, only yeah, person yeah, that was me. hearing that? Okay, all right. I was making sure yeah. I wasn't losing my mind there. All right. Um, sometimes it's weird that Discord picks up some things and doesn't, like, I know it doesn't pick up any typing sometimes. It's weird yeah. That it's picking up uh, maybe Crisp isn't turned on? I don't know. But uh, note to self, next time rinse this cup out because this thing gathered some dust. There was a little little film there on my water, but you know, this, this chunks make you make you stronger, right? Um, mm -hmm. Keyboard meetups are starting. That is true. That is true. Uh, let's see. Oh, oh no. Okay, he's oh. back. I thought we lost you for a second there. Um, right. What? So other than Twitch, as far as other content, YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, uh, we've got writers such as theremin and there's i'm sure there's others that write reviews i can't think of any right off the top of my head i know there's a site i used to look at when i was new to the hobby but i kind of found they were biased and i wasn't a big fan there are some keyboard podcasts out there i listened to one a while back but there was only like four episodes and then there's off the clack which i don't know if they're still making episodes but there's a lot of different types of content that's being created related to the keyboard community and of course lots of pictures um what other types of content do you guys like to make and what's your favorite type of content if it's not twitch or if it is twitch let's uh well go ahead project um i have only fans very nice that's what Oh kind of uh, things I'm just learning this now. Just, I tried to say that let's so go. Call, Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Let's URL right now. Wait, do you give out uh, and, uh, family discounts? Do you give out family discounts or anything like that? <laughs> yep. <laughs> family discounts for the OnlyFans? That's a... Family, family discounts. <laughs> that's that's a okay. hell of a thought there. I know, like, Noki, for instance, I know you do a lot of photography stuff. What, what do yeah. you... What do you enjoy more? Do you enjoy the photography stuff or do you enjoy the Twitch? Were you doing the photography before the Twitch or did they both kind of coalesce at um, the same time? So interesting. I mean, photography is awesome. But when I first started to uh, form my Instagram for keyboards, photography is one thing, but the one niche i wanted to uh present on my instagram was typing in the wild and stuff um because I, I i do enjoy people doing typing tests and they're they look really nice but the thing is my desk setup I, it's not really a desk so i was like you know that kind of sucks because i don't have like a really nice clean desk and like aesthetically pleasing and the lighting in the basement is not that great so i thought about you know why not just take my keyboard outside, find a rock or something and just start, you know, typing on it while I have like a like a microphone recording it. So that's what I kind of did in the very if, if you scroll to the early days of my Instagram, that's kind of like the niche I was trying to go for. And that was a lot of fun because there was a lot of production to go into it, you know, setting up a camera angle, finding a nice spot. And my God, trying to record when you're outside and then your neighbor just loves to cut the lawn at the most perfect timing and stuff. You know, I'll be typing 
and then within like one minute perfectly in on the recording just something you know loud just kind of pops up in the audio so i'm like i have to reset it but yeah that's what i really enjoy doing and i I still enjoy you know um you know taking my keyboards out into the wild uh at 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 a at a bar at at a park in the city just you name it i just bring my keyboard around because it's it's funny it's silly and you know people just feel like well you bring your keyboard to a bar and like yeah like you never know when you might lay down your keyboard while you're having a ba- uh, a beer at a bar and then you might find a, a person that's like hey i'm into keyboards too like it's awesome because i realized that you're the only loser here with the keyboard here so you know stuff like that i would spill shit all over my keyboard <laughs> yeah, me too. I have yet to spill anything or 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 kill a keyboard out in the wild, so uh thank God for that. Yeah, that's uh that's a very never thought of very interesting idea or into a bar. Um Trigity, I know you don't even have an Instagram, right? Is that my uh, no, I don't really have any social media. Um I have a YouTube with zero videos on it. Um I would like to put some content on YouTube at some point, like maybe like edited, like stream recaps and stuff like that. Or else if I get a better mic and stuff for sound tests. Um, I mean, my mic's all right now. Everybody says it's nice. So um, yeah, I do intend on making some YouTube content in the future. Uh, as far as photography and stuff, I'm interested in it, but there's, you know, it's like, Focusing on that is far down the line, um, but uh, yeah. So basically, it's just Twitch for me, and that's enough for me right now. Uh, I have so much other stuff going on. Yeah, that's it's just like a you know time limitation thing. Uh, but yeah, I don't have an Instagram at the moment. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, but def- I do def- enjoy a bunch you of definitely... people's Instagrams and their nice pictures and tons of YouTubers. Oh, one podcast I I enjoy that I wanted to mention was it's called Once It Clicked. That's one you guys should check out. Pretty good every time. It's like every two weeks, I think, or about there, month to or so, two weeks to a month it comes out. Mm-hmm. And it's usually artisan people. In fact, it might be artisan people every single time, but. Uh, yeah, it's a really good one. Um, yeah, and you know, like when I was coming into the hobby, there was a lot of YouTubers that I really enjoyed, like Shubes especially, because he was kind of just like getting bigger. So I really enjoyed Shubes, and another YouTuber I really enjoy that I don't think a lot of people know about is Technology Brother um, on YouTube. He's great. He does a lot of stuff with Maker and stuff, which, you know, I'm. I have uh, a couple of Maker boards and stuff. One's on the way still. And yeah, I don't know. That's all. Yeah, I think uh, with with the time that you have available, probably just sticking with Twitch is good. You don't want to spread yourself too thin, and you know. It's better to make one thing that's good quality than ten things that are low quality. I think because if if you spread it yeah, too but, thin, you'd you'd have to cut corners, you know. That's why if I did anything, it would just be like using YouTube like an extension of the, you know, of Twitch, just like you know for editing Twitch streams or whatever or clips or whatever from the stream. That would be the first thing I did besides Twitch. Uh, project. I know you. Ah, sorry, I've got a piece of candy in my mouth. I know you had started doing some stuff on TikTok. Did you give that up, or are you still working on that? How how did that go? I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know. I mean, to be honest, I literally only stream to hang out with people. I I don't know. I don't really... I don't I don't really have a lot of time for a lot of stuff. So, do you have yeah, a YouTube I, or anything? 
I mean, I I have a YouTube. I don't. I'm probably not going to do anything there. I literally, I literally only stream because it's fun. Even if I have one person in there. Yeah, I mean, you know, you know, I literally. Yeah, there's no. I mean, if you're happy with what you're doing, no need to branch out. You know. Yeah. Uh, Epsi, how about you? I know you have a YouTube. Are you still making content for your YouTube? I know you did your your Kiwi video. Yeah. I've seen that. What uh? Oh, I mean, I make I make some stuff, but like most of the time, it just comes down to time. Um, and like my setup is just where my desk is. So if I want to do anything else, it's kind of like oh, a big hassle. Um, and then editing takes a long time. Uh, and just I guess I just don't want to make random content. Like I do sound tests, and that's. I guess in some sense it's random, but it's just after a build, you know, usually I, I do a sound test, but um, it's hard to think of, you know, original content for keyboard stuff. Yeah. I mean, most of the time, like even, even like all the, I would say the more mainstream ones, you know, like Shubes and um, those guys, they, they just, they get a keyboard, right? And then they essentially make a review of it, put on some B-rolls and stuff like that and it's it's good but it's not exactly original content it's you know they there's not content that you go back and watch over and over again or be like oh yeah recommend you this because you know this is an in-stock keyboard or whatever because everything is a group buy you know in this hobby yeah. um so um i do want to make some content but mostly it's just a combination of being lazy of what kind of content there is and uh and it, everything being a hassle, I think. Hmm. Yeah. If yeah. You, you, you want if you want to build a following on YouTube of that, you have to be consistent. Uh, yeah, it's it's difficult for sure. I. Uh... Oh. Oh my God! There's a bird with the in raid. my fucking Ooh. house. Ooh. Welcome everybody. Hello, Raider. Nice to fucking squeak. Hi, Keep Noob. Hi, Tanya. Hello, Keep Noob. Tanya, Keep Noob. How's everybody doing? Static age. Welcome, Actually, welcome. Tanya is the one who was really encouraging to me to start streaming because I would be like, oh, I'm thinking about streaming. And she'd be like, just do it now. And so she was very encouraging. And so thanks, Tanya. Fuck you, Kerbal. Oh, Gnarly Charlie, thanks for the follow. I guess I can close Keeb Noob's stream here. Where did I have it? Oh, you rated Tiny. That's why I've got her open twice now. Or, no, that was somebody else. You rated me. Who rated Tiny? That must have been Lightning. Okay, um, sorry. Just closing some extra windows there. Uh, where, what were we saying? Um, Epsi, like you said, editing? Oh, yeah, let me give the, let me catch up the Raiders. Sorry, brain fart. Raiders, tonight we're doing a co-stream. We're talking about keyboard content creation. What got us into it? Uh, the different things that go into it, what it's been like for us, how how we like it, what's our motivation, those types of things. Um, if you're interested in keyboard content and what goes into it, hopefully uh, we can answer some of your questions and share some of our experiences and who knows, maybe motivate some of you to start streaming or to start making content as well. Because personally, I find it to be a lot of fun. I think the community is uh, really the driving force behind what makes us do what we do i think that mm -hmm. the community is very encouraging like i said earlier it's not like game streaming where there's a lot of toxicity that comes into it so um wait the top answer is money everyone gets into keyboards for the money for the uh desire to have a lack of money is that the reason because yeah, i hate money <laughs> that's that's what i was gonna say fuck you money yeah. I, I can either throw it away yeah. or spend it on a keyboard i guess i'll yeah. buy a lot of keyboards yeah rip rip <laughs> rip to your wallet rip to your wallet keeping if you're in it for the bezos pennies yeah yeah that's you know start to stream <laughs> and earn tens of dollars for um, the lack of respect for money <laughs> I keep Nick because Chewie won't invite you. Wait, what? Wait, wait, hang on. What? Oh, why is he here? Oh, wow. Wow. Would you leave us for, for Mechs on deck? Epsi, is that what you're saying? You would be out as soon as a better Epsi. offer came along. Uh, <laughs> no loyalty here. Um, See, Static was right. Everyone gets into the keyboard for the money. 
Yeah, yeah. For getting rid <laughs> money of the talks. money talks. For getting rid of the money. But uh, <laughs> like Epsy was saying, like that is one of the good things about Twitch. You don't have to do any editing because it's all live. I mean, you could do the YouTube yeah. streams, but I don't think their streaming platform is quite as uh what's the word i'm looking for i don't know not quite as good as twitch it's just not got the, That's same. the thing with youtube is you have to have already have a following before you start streaming on there yeah. um, otherwise because it doesn't work like twitch where it's like everybody's recommending everybody you can raid other people to get a bit of attention and things like that you know mm. like and and the kimball community is pretty pretty good about like you know, hey, that guy's a small streamer. He needs some love and, and go over there kind of thing. Even the big streamers do it, right? Like the big streamers, if there's nobody, they'll, they'll go to a, like a, a person with two, two um, viewers and, and go there. I've seen it before. Yeah, yeah I, I definitely try to usually try to raid smaller streamers. Um, Static Age Beard Group. Uh, I don't know what that, wait, what did I miss here? But um, yeah, so... Editing is definitely a pain in the ass. Like, I do a little YouTube stuff, um, mostly like unboxing, sound tests, and then I just re upload my streams. I don't really edit the streams, but the mm -hmm. amount of editing that goes into it for the little bit of editing that I do and the amount of time it takes still blows my mind. Like, a five minute video, I'll spend two hours trying to edit it, and I don't really mm -hmm. do much. I add in some music and clip off the ends, and maybe, you know blur something here and there that kind of stuff but it's just it's a pain in the ass for sure and, so and, um go ahead go on go ahead go ahead go ahead um so you know um i'm pretty sure everyone knows about like um hippo keys making the the unicorn switches and you know i took some pictures of it but i really wanted to help people uh get an idea of what they sound like comparing it you know doing sound comparisons and stuff so when I was deciding to record it and upload onto YouTube, I mean, I just kind of did like a very bare minimum because, yeah, editing takes so much time and even writing a script, you know, just, just knowing what you want to say and maybe like doing a nice little B-roll shot. But for someone like me who I'm more focused on, you know, photography and, and streaming and working a full-time job, I kind of have too much on my plate. And people say, oh, you should dabble on YouTube, you know, branch out a bit. But the thing is, YouTube, oh my you know, God, like, there's a bird said, like in it, my fucking house. it's a lot of work. It's a lot of editing to I do. Oh, so, my goodness. Ooh, another raid. Did we just get another big Tiny. ass raid. Tiny. <laughs> Thanks. Pretty big. Welcome, Tiny. Hello, Welcome, hello. everybody from Tiny's yeah. stream. Tiny uh, raid. It's a... It's a massive raid. Uh, <laughs> tiny raid. A large tiny raid. Uh, for those of you that are new to my channel and just coming Fuck in, you, Raiders, Herbal. I appreciate the follow there. Klosti? Is it Klosti? Chaosti? Krusty? I don't know yes. what that is. Uh, I'm thinking it's supposed to be Klosti. Thanks for the follow. Uh, so. What we're doing here, we do these co-streams from time to time. We're kind of making them a twice a month thing. There's a group of us that we, you know, kind of rotate in and out doing these things. But uh, we're doing one tonight, and you just happen to be rating at the right time. Tonight we are talking about keyboard content creation. And all aspects of content creation is pretty much what we're talking about here. So feel free to ask questions in chat. I'm going to be doing a couple giveaways at the end of the stream. I've got a desk mat and a Gion Works shirt. Fuck you, Kerbal. Uh, hello, Cheesy. Thank you for the follow. Um, Noki, do you want to pick up there oh. where you left off? Yeah, uh, so long story short, what I was saying is that uh, YouTube is nice and all, and I know some people, they upload their Twitch streams onto it um, for, I guess, for like a like a vlog library and stuff. But um, when I had to do like the sound comparison of the the switches, I have no reason or a purpose to kind of be on YouTube other than just uploading a video to share like sound comparison. So in my video, I was kind of like, hello, this is me. I'm doing a sound comparison, blah, blah, blah. And here's a sponsor to NordVPN. Get your NordVPN and stuff like that. Because I, I just, I mean, I get it. If you're like a YouTube content creator, you want to add in your plugs and kind of extend the video to be a certain length. But I'm just a guy who just needs a platform to upload a video. So I just kind of made a joke about that. Just go, you know, straight to the point. 
So yeah. unless I have an idea of where I want to invest my time and energy to to get some kind of, you know, some kind of revenue on YouTube, then I'll, you know, spend more time on it, spend more time on editing and stuff and not half ass it. But when it comes down to it, I'm just like, yeah, there's no ads. There's no NordVPN. We're just going to go straight <laughs> into the content. So. Yeah, I could say uh, my YouTube channel's uh, revenue is pretty pretty small so it you definitely have to have a hell of a following there to make it you know make any type of substantial income out of it and my videos aren't that great to be totally honest but um, yeah so True. uh you know, <laughs> hey, hey, thanks that's why you're supposed <laughs> to be like, terrible this, this is where you're supposed to be kidding. like oh it's not that bad no <laughs> I'm, I'm just don't kidding. forget onlyfans.com slash project builds x um <laughs> family discount project builds triple x is it triple yeah, x there we yeah. go yeah we we finally found out what the x stands for thanks for the follow there yeah. tiny um also i mean my youtube doesn't even have a thousand subscribers so i make zero from it really i i may have purchased um 600 bot file subscribers to, to <laughs> just to just so i didn't have to worry about that goal so yeah so <laughs> full disclosure. <laughs> um, but like you were saying about if you wanted to stream on YouTube, you really need to already have a community to take there. I think uh, a lot of people are saying that TikTok is good for helping to build your community and bring more people into your stream. Mm. I, yeah, I can't really get the hang of TikTok personally. And my TikTok oh. content is usually just clipped YouTube content. And so it's taking mediocre content, trimming it, making it <laughs> sub mediocre. So yeah, <laughs> man, I'm sure. Yeah, uh, yeah. TikTok. If you happen to just happen to just uh, pop up on the for you page one time, and it explodes with half a million views that one time, all of a sudden you could have. A lot of people in your stream. Yeah, that's it true. just takes that one time. It just takes it to blow up, and then boom. Well, Tiny herself is pretty damn big on TikTok. Yeah, as far as keyboard streamers go, especially. She makes so. she definitely makes a qual more quality content than than I do for sure. Definitely a higher think, caliber of quality there. I think my I favorite. Her. I think my favorite thing to see on TikTok for keyboard content is the the one where there's like a little melody in the background and the person's like tapping the the each key and it's like rgb just like ray, like wave effects and stuff like that maybe seeing it five five or ten times i'm like all right that's pretty cool that's creative but when you see like i don't know what gets me the fact that everyone does it or the fact that when you read the comments and everyone's like oh my god what keyboard is that i need a keyboard that can do exactly that and i'm like my god yeah, what's wrong with you people? <laughs> also, uh, we've got Backspace Sid here. Backspace Sid is 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 a bit of a big deal over on TikTok as well. Oh yeah, big fan, big fan. Yeah, yeah, he's only he's fan. definitely only fan. Do he's definitely now. got a uh, got more uh, actual followers than I do. I, I I may have bought it though, that as well, uh, <laughs> which I kind of regret that. But you know, live and learn, I guess. Uh, Backspace Sid was given me some advice on TikTok stuff, but I just, I don't know if I have the time and effort to dedicate into making dedicated TikTok stuff. It's definitely, it feels like it's definitely for a uh, lower attention span audience. You've got to Do you be... think it's also an age thing as well? Because from, I'm, I'm 32, but from what I see a lot, um, or the people that I talk to, it just seems like the, the younger folks they're able to kind of grasp the whole tiktok thing that's but that's that that could be just me so yeah i i would 100 percent agree with that yeah i, I would yeah I, I think everything's just easily accessible when it's something like tiktok because you know they they if they have 10 minutes they're scrolling through like heaps and heaps of videos right and then it's is it just one button to share you know they're like oh you know well, one one click to like and whatever and it's so easy to yeah to, to consume and to share for the younger viewers mm. 
Yeah. You know, yeah. like they they're out with their mates, whatever, and then they just you know got two minutes to kill, whatever, and they they're there on TikTok. Where you know, for us, you know, we're not doing that. Well, we didn't grow up doing that as well. Yeah. And that's a big thing is habits, right? Mm-hmm. Like yeah, I, I assume sure. Project when Project has two minutes, he's just like, oh yep, get up my vape, and I'm just gonna smoke, whatever, rather than you know scroll on something. Yeah, I uh... make a vape and TikTok. <laughs> yeah, probably, probably, definitely a a, a niche there. Uh, I know for so me, like I, go ahead. I actually watch a lot of TikToks. <gasps> I, I like to look. I'm the hip one. Okay, <laughs> I'm just, I watch a lot of TikTok. I do yeah. watch a lot of TikTok. I, the thing with TikTok, like, there's something about it. It's it sucks you in for sure. Like, because every now and then I'll be funny like, as hell, too. yeah. There's, some there's a lot of good, hilarious funny stuff, stuff on there. There's a lot of times where it's like, oh, I'm going to go up here and look for a couple minutes. Next thing I know, 45 minutes have been passed and I've just been going through shit. And it definitely sucks you in once you sit down and start playing with it. Um, Let's see. Uh, Preparation and stuff. So what kind of preparation do you guys put into your stream? How much time do you spend pre-planning? How much? How Money. soon before you hit that go live are you setting up? Oh, <clears throat> take it, take it away. Sure. Um, I mean, I'm generally late. I'm generally late to my already super late at night stream. So I'm setting up, you know, during that time that I'm being late. Um, you know, I have to wait until the, the boy is asleep before I can really start the keyboard party. So, and there's always something. There's always like, you know, some commands or some OBS stuff. Um, a lot of it is stuff like that. A lot of it is bot stuff and OBS stuff and maybe some Twitch platform stuff and not really like necessarily anything to do with keyboards, you know? Um, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, basically, it comes down to it's hard to get a steady stream of new content in the keyboard hobby, unless you have a lot of clients or you're like wailing hard because, you know, you got to basically build like a new keyboard every stream if you want to be, you know, up there. I've built the Scarlet seven times. I've built the Scarlet seven times. <laughs> I've built one or two other keyboards. Um, I'll be building a new keyboard this weekend, the Portal. Um, so, I mean, it, yeah, you know, it's hard to get, and it always costs money to get content for, you know, this. And so it's a, it's a very hard balancing act, you know, of like, how, how much do I want to stream and how much do I want to have a house (laughs) next month, you know, um, (laughs) That's that's definitely the uh, the hardest the hardest part of starting with the keyboard streaming until you can figure out a way to successfully finance or get people to let you build their boards. Because yeah, like I think it was uh, in one of Alex Odo's streams he was talking about. He's like, you know, whenever I first started, I had a rotation of like what two or three boards. He said that he was rebuilding every other stream. So so like you said, I think the rebuilding thing is definitely something people do. What I did personally. When I first started, as I would buy stuff, build a board, sell it on Mech Market, and then re- rinse and repeat. Right. So. Yeah. That's what worked for me. Project. What goes into preparation for you for your streams? Um, I I mean honestly, I'm pretty scuffed. I just kind of just start it and just hope I don't screw anything up. Yeah, and then he's actually just like so legit that he's just permanently ready it's yeah always, yeah it's always well yeah so I, just, I, I you know i gotta wait till i gotta wait till all my kids are in bed you know so that's the number one thing i gotta put the kids to bed but then yeah as soon as the kids are in bed i usually just sit down make sure that my area around me looks okay and and start yeah i was gonna say don't you have like 18 kids you've got to get get situated yeah. before you can stream because you you don't really have a schedule either you just kind of stream when you can right 
Yeah, so so I stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, but but like you guys have been saying, I haven't really had anything to stream. So that's the problem. So it's like I don't know. It yeah, is kind of yeah. hard. I, I don't want to spend money right now. My wife got mad at me. I don't want to spend money right now on on shit. But I have nothing to build. I mean, yeah, I can rebuild shit over and over again, like you said. But yeah, you know. it, it's it's definitely hard to get commissions too, especially with so many people offering free commissions. It seems like a lot of the people want to go to the larger streamers for commissions. Which is understandable, you know. They want somebody that's popular building their board. I can get that, but yeah, it's mm-hmm. it's it's definitely hard to have boards to make content, like you said for sure. One thing I try to do is like kind of focus on switches, you know, and kind of like comparing the switches, you know, and that aspect of it. Doing sort of a like a little mini cheaper review, little mini review, little well, stream you know. type thing. Uh. Pepsi, what uh, what kind of preparation do you do? Um, mostly just like the build commands and things like that. Um, depending on the build, I might prep stabs offline because it's just maybe I I just don't want the stream to be like super long. I see, you know, like there's some streamers that go on for like five hours when they're building a keyboard. Um, and I just don't want, I just don't have time to do that. Uh, because I usually stream what, seven o'clock my time and, you know, a couple of hours, three hours, that's 10 o'clock and, you know, it's bedtime for me. I can't go until um, past midnight streaming. So that's my my biggest one, unless it's on a Sunday build, uh, which I can go a little bit longer, but again, I still don't really want to. Um, yeah, well, if you guys, when I, 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 I've been in the 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 streaming part of the hobby for a while now. So I can I can definitely relate to, you know, projects and Triggity's viewpoint on about getting content and things like that. And that's why a lot of streamers actually stop streaming in some sense. Um one so the main parts is like consistent content, um, being able to every week have something different and not just again do rebuilds or, or lubing on stream. Um, the other one is, uh, feel like that the people who are watching and people who may be subscribing, um, that you are doing something for them as well. Um, even if you don't get new subscribers, you know, you feel obligated to produce something for them. Um, and then you've got ones like project and like Dutch master who don't have clients and they essentially they you they only stream when they buy their own stuff dutch master I, I guess has a lot of um disposable income because he's always buying stuff and then he's always streaming um, but he takes on no clients uh but I, I i'm on the opposite end where i have very lucky where i have a whale and uh, whenever i don't have content i just go raid his stash and then uh, and build something <laughs> of his um but uh, that's, I guess, and, and if you don't have content, I guess it's kind of like you have to put yourself out there. I think Reddit would be the biggest one, uh, to go get, uh, builds. You know, I saw, you know, was it early, well, maybe, maybe late 2020, you know, you got, um, Kimchi Jody Boy, um, back then it was a bunch of Koreans who is now Tim Keyless. Um, you know, they, they would go onto Reddit and they would say, Hey, free builds, you know, um, Jinte would used to do that as well. Um, and they would get a lot of, uh, people ask, you know, to build their keyboards. But I think in the end, it kind of like becomes like this, these, you know, they, they want to do it because they want to, I guess, in the end goal to make a little bit of money, you know, just not like heaps of money, not like Teha money, but like, be able to be like keep funding the hobby for themselves but Mm -hmm. i guess like for them what they kind of killed it for themselves was they didn't ask for money at the beginning and so then like why would people now pay you to do it uh, when they got it for free before um i'm pretty sure things people like teha always charge right from the beginning lightning 
you know, charge right from the beginning. And they just use quality content to say, hey, you know, it's worth paying me to do it because, you know, I'm, 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 tr I'm trying to be professional about it. Um, and, and, and so a lot of those people have, you know, left, not the hobby, but left the streaming part of the hobby. Um, so they, you know, because it's not really worth their time in the long run to do. Um, right. You know, life also gets in the way. Um, you, I, I would see, and yeah, a perfect example would be Kimchi Joe Debo, who used to stream all the time. He had great content, um, and then it, he, he kind of just burnt himself out. Um, Tim, yeah. I guess, got married, and I guess married life is now taking over his part, where he was streaming almost like four, five, de four, five days out of of, of the week, yeah. um, and now you, I barely see him on what maybe once or twice a week now, if that. Um, same with uh, gym leader Nathan. Um, I've, I've seen a lot of people kind of come, go, um, where, yeah, like, like Keep Noob pretty much started around the same time as I did. And we just, we just keep our normal schedule and we just stream and we don't take it too seriously. Um, and so we, we're still going, you know, I'm very typical of um, tortoise in the hair. You know, we're not winning the race, but we, we, we're still going. Hmm. Yeah. 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 So unsteady. And you have a very unique, you know, with your quiz and stuff. And uh, even Keeb Noob's kind of like a, a uh, you know, like 40% or, you know, specialist type of, you know, which is getting into 40s and split Keebs and stuff like that. That's actually affordable where you could buy maybe like three or four boards instead of one. Is something, yeah. I mean, that's going to happen to me pretty quick, honestly. With, with Although so I do many have some those, Geon boards coming too. With so many of those, uh, you know, like you said, 40s and split boards being open source, you can, you know, download the files, send it off to a board house, and get, you know, 10 PCBs for half the price you're paying for, you know, a kit. So, you know, 40% is definitely very economical. Um, uh, I had something to say about like what Epsi said about the Reddit. And I remember when I was first getting into the hobby and, you know, I decided I was going to stream my first build. And then I just kind of kept streaming stuff from there because I enjoyed soldering before I began the keyboard hobby, began down that rabbit hole. And uh, for me, it, it just was another excuse to solder. So I just kind of kept doing it on stream and just kind of kept going and like, um, I remember when I was new and was just starting out, I was I would see a lot of people on Reddit that were, hey, free on-stream build service, you know? And so I was like, okay, well, you know, that's pretty cool. And I didn't ever really make any posts because I think you had to have, what is it, like 25 confirmed trades. And by the time I had the confirmed trades to be able to actually make those posts, I was kind of sort of getting my foot in the door and I had a, had a pretty good method of keeping content coming just from buying building selling buying again the kind of rinse repeat like i mentioned earlier so i never really tried the reddit thing i'm not sure if that's even still something that's going on much i don't really get on reddit too much anymore because i just get disgusted every time i go on there lately <laughs> so i don't know if that's still a thing but that's definitely something worth trying out i, I don't know triggity if you have enough con confirmed trades to offer a build service but i have no i have no aftermarket experience i yeah so and i haven't my experience like in the hobby when i started everybody was already on discord and reddit was kind of trailing off and so and i haven't been really on reddit for a couple of years just kind of like on purpose you know because you know how reddit is just like kind of you know sucks you in so I haven't really been on Reddit at all. It's all like Discord and Twitch for me, basically. Oh, Frank is here. Noki, do you... Oh, oh, I didn't even content, comment on the uh, whole topic we were discussing. Preparation, mine's pretty much like Epsi says. I set up my build commands and kind of get all of my tools in place about an hour before stream. And then there's always, you know... When you're not streaming, you think of 
different things you'd like to add to the stream or you see something on yeah. another stream that you're like, hey, that's kind of cool, like you might see an effect or something. So it's always in the back of your mind. You're always thinking about things to add, but as far as the actual prep for my stream, there's not a whole lot that goes into it other mm -hmm. than, you know, setting up the Nightbot commands and that stuff. What in the world am I grabbing there? Sorry, I'm trying to get all the and names in place. Good. Frank. Do you, do you make sure your your beard's looking good before you go live? Do you double check the beard, Kerbal? It always gets a, a quick at least once over with the pick before stream, if not multiple combings during stream. Why is it so gra difficult to grab stuff in Streamlabs? Frank, welcome. Hi, Frank. Hello, Hi, Frank. Frank. Hello, hello. Good to see you. Were you working from home tonight? No, I was. I just came home. I ran up. Well, I hope you uh, drove safe and didn't. Weren't a. Uh... Uh, I didn't kill anybody, so yeah, safe enough. Safe enough. <laughs> works for me. Works for me. I was just more concerned about you uh, endangering others in a rush to get here. <laughs> didn't so... hit anybody. Excellent, excellent. At least that you noticed, right? Let's see here. Um, we're currently discussing what goes into preparing for our streams and our various contents. Uh, that yeah, I was create. listening while I was driving. Oh, ah, safe. Pro safe. in the house. Safe driver. There we go. I think I got everybody's <laughs> names close enough there. Um, uh huh. So. You just joined us. You go ahead. Let us know uh, if do you want to touch on any of the other subjects that we touched on, or do you just want to go ahead uh, and pick up on this subject? I think... And then we still got to get Noki's input on it. Oh, okay. Uh, I think you guys were talking about content creation and con like being. I think just right before I got into my parking lot, uh, parking garage, you guys were talking about being able to pr come up with the content for stream and whatnot. Um, I, I like to tell people like first, like I've had discussion with other streamers before about burning out and contents and what to do on streams. I always ask them like, why, why do you stream is, is your purpose and goal to make it big in on Twitch and content creation in general, or are you just doing it cause you have, you're having a good time. And if you're, just, if the, if your answer is the first one, yeah invest some money, invest some time, actually create some content that you are really proud of every time, every, every time you upload something and you put on stream. If your answer is the, the letter one where you're just doing it for fun, don't be stressed out, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't have content, no one's gonna blame you for not streaming for like a like week or two or even a month or two. I don't, it doesn't really fucking matter. We'll miss you. You can hang out with us in other channels and chat. But if you are not going to be able to provide us like with the new build, the newest build and the hypest, you know, board out there, it doesn't matter. We don't, we don't, let's be honest. Most of us, we don't watch each other just because you guys have the best content. Like Kerbal, your fucking green screen sucks. So like, why would I want to watch you, right? <laughs> but we watch each other because you guys are actually awesome. entertaining and Fuck fun. You. <laughs> 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 but it's well, fun, you know. It's like it's it's more of a more of a relationship, you know, friendship that we build than just being able to being putting contents out. With that said, if you need help with coming up with an new like affordable idea for contents, there are plenty. And you guys already mentioned about rebuilding and stuff like that. And sure, ICGB review can be boring, um, and you can do that so so often too. I go on Craigslist and Facebook market quite often just find cheap mechanical keyboard. They're 15 to $20. You can buy them easily. Mod it. Stuff from foam and whatever. Make it thocky. That's what sells on TikTok. So that's bridging into TikTok. Do fucking thock shit and they'll eat that shit up really quick. So knowing the crowd on Twitch, YouTube. Fuck and you, Kerbal. And I think we talked about how TikTok usually have a younger crowd and all this stuff. They cannot afford fucking 7V. They cannot afford, you know, even Frog. They cannot stay up late and get, you know, try to get lucky with this shit. They just want to hear what's in trend and that is stock. 
<laughs> if you can do that with twenty thousand four that you pick up from Craigslist and mod, hell, go yeah. for it. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't have to pledge. be what you like to do. <laughs> Sure. But with that said, I do it because I like it. I do it. I buy shit because I like to buy shit. <laughs> if I ever catch myself feel stressed about what I need to do in my stream, I just don't. I got other things that I, I need to do to make money. I got, I got my family. We all old enough to have other responsibility in our lives. Stream is definitely not number one response. Hell, it's not even number two. But I like it. It's more of a social thing for me. I enjoy it. Uh, that's why I'm not really diligent with the stream or Instagram posts. I just do it whenever I want. I uh, hope anyone can be can say the same about all these things. Um, sorry. Uh, so now going back to sorry, that's all I wanted to say while I was driving. But uh, you know, obviously, I was driving, not typing. Uh, for prep, I do a lot of. I have a lot of lights. I have three lights that I need to set up. I do. I restart. I actually restart my computer right before. Mm. That's one of the things I, I almost I never to. turn my com computer off during the week. So I actually just right before stream, I actually do restart my computer. I play the music, get myself in the mood. I calm myself down. I'm usually much calmer when I'm streaming. So like calm myself down, play the nice music, turn on the camera, make sure everything works. Yeah. Um, sometimes I do, if I have time, I do like a keyboard news. I go to different people's Instagram, see what they posted, or if there's a new something going on, raffle, whatever. I do that. Uh, if I have a bunch of stuff to unbox, I try to take a note because I tend to forget a lot. Like yesterday I streamed, I was supposed to unbox GNK Hallyu that came through over the uh, on Monday. I forgot to open it up because I didn't take a note. Mm -hmm. uh, things like that. I, I'm, I'm forgetful, so I usually try to do that. Uh, if I'm trying to build a new keyboard that I've never built before, I study that shit a lot. I try to watch other vi people's videos and how they did it. If there was, you know, I ask around if, if I know someone, someone I know built it before, like, Hey, is there anything to watch out for? If I'm looping switches, I do the same thing. I'm not, I'm, I'm not that knowledgeable about a lot of things in keyboard yet. So I try to ask questions and do research before. Um, cause even, even if you are prepared, things can go wrong. Uh, and because it is live, show that we put on on twitch i'd like to as much scuff is kind of fun part of it but i if i'm going to build something i want to be able to build it without any big problem i want to be mm. able to finish some you know you want to end the epi quote unquote episode of that show with like good closure so i like to get all that down uh, yeah i'm probably i'm gonna stream tomorrow i'll probably shave tomorrow uh, I I do those kind of things, but it's about it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the um, I'm on the same page with you on that. Um, I guess I'll talk about like what I do for setting up. So you know, I have a full time job. Uh, I get home or I leave, and I get home at like five thirty. I work in a warehouse, which is like very dusty, and I might be sweating on the days. So. Take a shower. If I have to shave because it looks so scruffy, I shave that off. And then um, I go downstairs to where I am. Uh, just turn on two lights. Uh, I start mounting up my, my Sony camera onto the top down. Try to find a, a, a song that I'm like in the mood for. Um, finding like a nice funny intro video. Like when I do my Twitch streams, I just kind of go on YouTube and just look up like a random music video to for like an intro just to, you know, get some time for people to get the alerts and just hop in and stuff. So some I wish I had I don't have to touch anything and I wish I could just turn on my computer and then everything is like all good for, you know, just plug and play and just start. But because I carry my camera around with me, like in my backpack, sometimes the camera doesn't work because of the capture card is like getting a little bit funky. So I have to like turn it on and off. So that's another headache. So I think I would say prepping wise, I do take. On a good day, it would be like 30 minutes. If there's something like very technical that happened, then maybe like an hour. And yes, I do wear pants, I think. There was like some talks about some people think I don't wear pants or I wear like I would be wearing like something nice, like a T-shirt or whatever. But people think I'm wearing like just sweatpants. There's nothing wrong with that. But I I actually when I'm when I'm 
putting on clothes before I go streaming, I actually try to look like I'm going to meet up with a friend. So, you know, wear some jeans and, and try to like wash up to look kind of tidy and all that. And uh, as, as, um, as Frank was mentioning, like when I was building my fruit bar uh, through hole kit, it's a very different layout and I don't really do through holes or soldering that much. So I actually did have to, you know, prep and like figure out like, you know, what do I have to do? Where's the build guide? And just get like a mental note of like, you know, all right, so we're going to do the diodes first and then we're going to cut the leads and then blah, blah, blah. So, you know, because I as, as much as people, yeah, as much as people like scuff streams, but I have like a limiter of how much scuff that I want to present on stream. So that's why I, I want to do some research on a keyboard before I start building it. Because uh, what, what was it like yesterday? I, I streamed because I was troubleshooting, trying to figure out why some keys is not working. And honestly, I I didn't like streaming myself, troubleshooting something because number one, I was just not very knowledgeable at all with what I was doing. So it was kind of like you were just kind of just watching me on camera of me Googling something and just being in silence because I'm like focusing on it. But I forgot that I'm on camera and people are like kind of watching and it's it's not a fun thing to watch. So I don't think I'm going to be doing any more of the, like those troubleshooting kind of things on on stream anymore. So, yeah. Yeah, I, I get that. And yeah, build guides. I definitely look over a build guide before stream if there is one. Um, one thing I find that's kind of good about troubleshooting on stream is you're likely to get some feedback from other people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's that's the one good thing about when you have an issue. You'll either have one of two types. You'll have the ones that sabotage you for their entertainment and those that are actually helpful. <laughs> so once you learn the people that are actually helpful, you, you you know you know who to listen to. But let me go put Morty back in his cage. He's he's not in a good mood tonight for some reason. Um, what kind of things do you think are going to be in the future of keyboard content? Because like like Epsi said before, it's a lot of the same stuff over and over that you see on. YouTube, for instance, and other things. I'll be right back. Somebody want to pick that, pick that up? I mean, I think it's going to trend more and more towards TikTok. I think, you know, I don't know. I think boards are going to, boards are getting more and more extravagant. It's kind of doing both. It's kind of getting cheaper and at the low end and more extravagant at the high end. I don't know. So it's it's both more affordable and more like out of reach at certain levels and I don't know. Um Yeah, I think there's just going to I think that even cuz even YouTube has the shorts now, right? So they're basically mm -hmm. kind of trending towards a, a TikTok vibe too. Um uh, I think that we could see more keyboard streamers on YouTube. I think Hip Hippio does Hippio stream on both, and you know some other people. I think that because I mean YouTube is kind of going up, you know, as far as streaming, maybe slowly, but I don't know. Those are the trends I see. Yeah, probably still working out a lot of kinks with their streaming service. Um, Frank, do you have? Any trends that you think or anything new that will be happening in the content creation world? Or will it be more of, you know, here's a build, here's how I made it thocky, here's how it sounds that everybody uh, does? Yeah, it, I'm not, I mean, who knows? Who fucking knows? I mean, I've been, I've been in the quote-unquote content creating and slash influencer type of thing in different field for years now. I mean, the trend is right. It's TikTok short short term video short. What is it? Short length videos are really in the on the rise, but at the at the same time, there are really a lot of misinformation and or lack thereof in those formats. So those are entertaining. They will be eat up. Uh, people will consume because because we talked about how easy it is to consume those. Uh, formats. Uh, I think that's kind of where it goes. Um, but I think 
some stuff will not change as far as people who are looking for solid information that will go still go to YouTube. They will search and watch longer video and find the answer they're looking for. If they want com community, a sense of community and relationship with, you know, be, being able to interact with people, they'll still find Twitch or YouTube live. Um, I don't think it will change drastically more than what we are experiencing right now. Uh, who knows what's the next new thing? TikTok wasn't around three or four years ago, as, as big as like right now. So mm. who knows what's going to come. But uh, whatever it might be, it is what it is. I don't know. I kind of, I've, I've been on Insta Instagram grind for a while uh, with my photography and uh, there was no money to be made. Uh, I've been shooting professionally for more than 10 years. I, at, at one point, I've been re I religiously posted something on my Instagram account of all the, let's say, like span of like eight years of actually posting Instagram, like str strategizing what to post, when to post, which day and time zone, hashtags and geolocation back in the days. I did all that. Guess how many job actually got through Instagram? People DMing through who, people who found me through Instagram and actually gave me a job to pay for. One, one, and that mm. even then, even then, that was because they the person already knew me through something else, uh, but also ran into my photo on Instagram and randomly DM'd me through that. So the chance of like if we bring that idea idea to keyboard. Um, I'm assuming no one really here is trying to make trying to make money out of this hobby other than Kerbal because he's actually running a vendor website. Yeah, I kind of I fell really into don't that. Know. that was, never mind. Right, Intention. that was a stupid move, Kerbal. Like, there's so many shops already. What are you thinking? <laughs> I mean, <it's, laughs> hey, hey, luckily I started but, the site when I did because I lost my job about a month later. Otherwise, I'd be... Yeah. Uh, um, I probably found another job so I'm, there's a million jobs out I, there, but... With what's going to happen in the future, I don't think I am concerned about anything. I was concerned back in the, when I was like, when I was really invested in doing Instagram, like, oh my God, more people are doing videos. Oh my God, there's a thing called, what is the other thing that people do? Like Reels? Uh, yeah, all this, like, I'll be honest. I never lost a job because of that. I've never gained a job because of any of the new initiative that came up. Um, it doesn't bother me. And that I think that really officially makes me old. Uh, <laughs> it's really not my concern. And people are getting actually getting paid, paid for those kind of uh, 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 be, being able to create those contents and get actually get paid. Those are less than the per one percent. Uh, so yeah, is it really worth it for me to put time and energy to get that? No, I'm making a good living. I, I don't care. <laughs> I'm set. <laughs> Yeah, I, Wait, I think I'm not sad, but you know what I mean. <laughs> one of the one of the biggest flaws with Instagram is there's no real integrated monetization. Really, like the only mm -hmm. way you're gonna make any money off of Instagram is if you're like one of these celebrities with millions of followers and companies are approaching you to, you know, do things with their yeah. products. You know, that's. Pretty much the only way that I'm aware of to really make any money off of Instagram, right. unless you're, you know, advertising for your business or something, and still, right. then, you know, the, like you said, the chances of it paying off or panning out are relatively small. Yeah, only real offers you will get to actually get paid would be paid, uh, paid post, um, and unless you have about twenty-five to thirty thousand followers, you're not gonna get that. Mm -hmm. And even if you do. Because of your follower numbers and in, you know, your impact on you know, influence or whatever in Instagram, um, what you're going to get paid is really low. Um, I'm talking maybe 100 per post. Maybe. That's, that's not a lot. That's really yeah. not a lot. Yeah, don't, I don't think you're going to jump right into Instagram and start making Kim Kardashian money. So. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure there's a few people out there that could pull it off, but I, I'm I'm not expecting that in my future anytime soon. Um, Nokobo, any ideas of any future content that you think is going to pan out? Anything new in the keyboard content um, creation realm? I mean, 
you had said yourself earlier, you had tried to come in and do the, you know, photos in the wild and, you know, that you moved away from that essentially, but you know, that's different, you know, and I think anything different is usually good. Yeah. Um, I, I have been seeing a couple of people. I mean, I highly doubt that I was like a, a whatever you want to call it, like an influencer or whatever, but it's cool to see that, you know, that there's other people that's actually kind of doing that stuff as well. You know, just taking pictures of keyboards, like, you know, away from the desk. So I don't know, maybe people will do something. I don't know. Just, uh, now taking a typing test on a crocodile's back in Florida or something, which I don't, I, that, that might happen. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. But maybe people will take it more into the extreme. Who knows? You know? Yeah. Keyboard um, sports, keyboard extreme sports. I would, oh, yeah, what yeah. about like, what about like, uh, typing tests? You know, we, 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 yeah, we do typing tests and we, uh, reverse each other. So who knows? Maybe ESPN will have one of those. I mean, we have, we have, uh, esports, you know, like, uh, uh, League of Legends and stuff and Valorant, so why not keep? Oh, who knows? Who knows? Well, we all know. <laughs> we all know Vin's gonna come out on top, but you know. Oh yeah, I'd, he's I, I, I'd not invited. Out, not invited. I, I, I check that out on ESPN. The Ocho. Um, no, he. Uh, no, have, have, you, <laughs> have you have you considered uh, going back to that now that you have more of a of a audience and a following you know it might be worth it's, you know reconsidering trying that again you know it might take off now that you have more eyes on your content well so here's the thing i'm, I'm kind of like rethinking about where i want to put my time and energy into uh my my real life stuff and the stuff that is a hobby that i enjoy so I do have all the gear to, you know, start doing some typing tests and all that, like outside and whatnot. But now I'm just like thinking about like, I'll do it like once in a while. Uh, I think there was plans where I kind of wanted to do one like a lot, like maybe like after work and stuff and stuff like that. But it's, uh, I don't know. It's in, it's in the back of my head. Uh, if you, I mean, sure, I had, like, the flu recently and, like, some family stuff that happened, but I haven't been really feeling much of, like, caring too much about my whatever platform, like, um, Instagram and, and Twitch. And I'm not saying that I'm, I'm, like, giving up on the hobby or whatever. It's just more like, don't take it too seriously. Like, as Frank was mentioning, like, don't take it too seriously if you're just doing it casually just have fun with it and i think i just had to remind myself you know of like i have a full-time job if i didn't have a full-time job and i wanted to be like you know uh pokemon or something on twitch then yeah maybe i'll put a lot of effort into it but the thing is like you know i have a full-time job and that's and full-time job i, I want to get better at it or go into the next best thing but you know instagram twitch doesn't pay the bills it's a fun hobby but i'm gonna just kind of take it slow and actually just slow my roll and, and enjoy it as as it is as just a hobby so so that's my take on it so yeah i think uh i don't think any of us are trying to make a living <clears throat> off of our content i think it's all just something we do because we enjoy the community and enjoy you know meeting new well, people ha having people to talk to while we do this i don't think any of us would be disappointed if somehow we were able to make a career out of this. But I think, like you said, I think keeping that, you know, I don't want to say nonchalant, but keeping that vibe where, you know, you're not taking yourself too seriously is going to help you go further and not get burned out as quick. And, you know, Oh yeah, for sure. Like, um, I guess to rephrase that, I didn't really mean like too much in the whole, the money thing, but you know, yeah, yeah. Uh, t time is, money and all that but um you know maybe, maybe as like for whenever you post something there's always like that fear of like whatever i just posted is it stupid is it funny is it is it good quality picture or whatever is the angle on the keyboard is the editor like really nice like and i'm kind of talking out of my butt here too because i used to think like that whenever i post i always get like the anxiety of like i hope that was good enough but I got to remember, like, in the even especially in the keyboard community, not Instagram or whatever, like, you know, your content is your content, your keyboard is your keyboard. So, you know, 
you should just enjoy it as the keyboard that you have on your fingertips and not worry about someone else's fingertips or whatever. <laughs> Weird thing to say. Well, even if it was your goal to become a big streamer, you know, it's extremely hard and you have to get extremely lucky. And like just looking at the keyboard community, how many Twitch streamers that stream keyboard content are full time Twitch streamers? Two, three total? Like, you know, I don't know, a handful, and that's it. Yeah. And, you know, a lot of that is due to, due to their timing and, you know, so for sure. Yeah. Uh, Epsi, did you already weigh in on this topic? I don't, I don't think you did. I mean, I don't really have too much to add, but like, I guess what, you know, I can go back to why people quit and it's like, you know, they post content and they feel like they've put invested so much time and effort and they don't get the, the likes in those, you know, things at the beginning, you know, they, they, you know, you go from zero to 30 likes and it's like that big hit, right? But it's hard to go past that hill you know, to get more growth. Yeah, it's it's definitely hard to keep that growth momentum going, like you said. I would, I would agree with that. And I think the main thing is, for me, I have zero expectations when I go live. I fully tell myself, you know, hey, there could be no one in this stream, and if there isn't, I'm just going to, you know, do as I would if there was 100 million people in here, you know. I think having zero expectations and not, you know, not i mean you should definitely should have goals but don't have like if i don't do this by this date i failed as a content creator you know and i imagine like you said for people that have quit that either that got burned out or were having a hard time you know just getting things to make content with i think a lot of them probably just felt like they weren't getting the growth and stuff that they thought they would because you know we're not all teja types we're not all diego we're not all Alex Odo's and Marcia. We, you know, and I think a lot of people, like you said, have unrealistic expectations going into it. And once they hit those hurdles, they just can't get over them, and it just discourages them. And I also like I like having a dozen homies, you know, hanging out and being able to have real like intimate conversations with those people, you know, which you wouldn't be able to do if you, you know, if we have Teja numbers, we can't, you know do that mm -hmm. and i true. yeah so i actually like that and i wouldn't want to lose that i don't think because then it's like a job right yeah if i also I'm, feel like oh if, so you go nicky uh, sorry if i may uh i'm on the east coast so it is 12 30 so if i will need to hop off from from this chat right now hey, no worries nokey no good night yeah we're probably gonna go for about another half hour so we usually do about two hours so have a good night thanks for joining us Look yeah, thank you guys. You. you guys have fun, and I will see you guys on the next time. So see stay cool. Later. Peace. Thanks, Noki. See ya. Peace see ya. out. Bye, Noki. Bye. Bye. Sweet dreams. So, yeah, like you said, it is 1230 here on the East Coast. So uh, this is usually about the time that we start opening things up for people that might want to join and chat with us or ask a question or talk about something in particular if that's something you would like to do oh is noki back, back. <gasps> nope okay <laughs> if, if you if you would Psych. like to uh hop in here with us if you will hit exclamation point discord and i cannot grab this thing to save my life this is really getting annoying exclamation point discord will give you a link to my discord just hop there in the general voice chat and tell dark mode media what you would like to talk about and then we will pull you over um do you guys want to move away cup uh, move away from the content creation stuff and touch on a couple of other topics that we have here on the list maybe let's talk about geek hack a little bit negativity in the community oh actually before we go on yeah go ahead i know we talked about contents that we do anybody in chat want to share type of content that you would like to see on twitch mm -hmm. what does the I... audience want to see 
Right. I like seeing people that are doing things that everybody isn't doing. Like Keeb Noob has been doing some some PCB creation. I like that. That's one of the things I like about like Geon streams. Cause I did dabble in KiCad years ago, you know, getting to Blinky is kind of a hardware hackers thing, you know, learn how to make a PCB and, and you know, how in the uh programming world you've got you know hello world everybody makes a hello world program and in hardware hacking it's called getting to blinky which basically you make a board with a blinking led and that's kind of the equivalent of the hello world from the programming standpoint mm -hmm. and that's kai something i want to get back into personally that's uh i think it would be fun i just don't have the time to dedicate to it and i'm already spread thin on so many things as it is i that's that's one of the things that I like about Two Moons. It's hard for me to catch him because his streams are at such random times. But anything that's different from just the standard lubing and building a keyboard always kind of sparks my interest. And Gerald, too, does a lot of PCB design and that, stuff on stream. And Gerald, too, but I haven't been able to make his streams much lately. I used to be in a lot more of his streams uh what about you frank what kind of stuff would you like to see on twitch i don't know you know <laughs> that's asking yeah. the question to people yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. i, I want to hear your, your response to this question we're, we're 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 doing i think there are a few things that we all do um in general, there's like few things that that everyone does, and and individually, I think there are some stuff that we do differently. Like, is this something that we can do? Like, I don't know. I just I just wanted to hear if someone else had something that they'd like to see. You know, so mix, mixing up like 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 Matt uh Matt is saying, um, Juran does miniature on stream, so she he does a uh, gunpla. So mixing mixing content so not just keyboard but doing some other stuff but then you're just a variety streamer right like it's yeah that's really... a, that becomes a variety stream yeah. now that's totally fine i ho hope to go back to doing that too because i if you don't know i used to stream lego uh i yeah, sometimes I do what... photo reviews that's kind of one, one of the thing i do but um being a variety streamer is a little bit harder than just one streamer. Uh, if you want to build some sort of following or whatever, that's a bit hard. So if you really don't care about that, sure. I mean, I guess I can do that too. But yeah, I, all you uh... used to do photography. Stream. Yeah, I I I'll be honest. Photography stream doesn't do well, no matter my even if it was Ozzy. Uh, Ozzy has huge following on Instagram. Everyone in the uh, uh, um, community knows him. Uh, and so when he obviously when he jumped on Twitch uh, platform and started doing streaming, he got a lot of followers really quick. Unfortunately, uh, and I knew this before he's doing photography stuff, but because I, I looked into doing photography stream beforehand too, years ago, people just don't want to sit around for hours looking at. <laughs> someone else working on their photos yeah they just really want to don't see the final it, product either they want to if they want to learn something it's easier for them to just google and watch the youtube video exactly right. the thing that they they want to get get the answer to and watching someone taking a photo of a keyboard or something else it's fun for five minutes because you're looking at the keyboard but if you look, actually look understanding the process it's really boring Unless you're the one who's actually taking the photo. Well, I could say um, the same thing about keyboard building. Right, but here's the thing. Keyboard That's building, true. if you know keyboard, you're into keyboard, I think there's a level of something like... What's the word? First of all, there's a payoff at the end. That's why we do typing test. People want to know how the keyboard sounds with the plate and switches that we use and how we built it and mod it, whatever. I think... There's a payoff at the end. So people do, they might not talk all throughout the stream, but they want to come back at least at the end for typing tests. At least that's what I do at least. Because I, I might not be have, have a attention or the time to sit around three hour build or two hour build, but I want to still hear the typing test. So there's a bit of a payoff. With the photography there, it really isn't. 
and I've seen some other amazing like Photoshop uh, uh, photo editors and um, photographers doing their stuff on the stream. No one really talks. No one really watches. Um, so yeah, I, I want to, as much as I want to mix things, uh, I rather not just because if I'm working on, let's say I'm, I'm want to stream my editing process. Uh, I'd rather just focus on working and editing, get it done in time, than trying to stream at the same time, if that, if that makes sense. Uh, mm -hmm. It was cool watching Taya shoot boards, mostly because I don't know how to frame and light shots when I watch videos and information on it. Yeah, one square, that is also very true. Um, well, lucky, f lucky for Teha, he has a huge following. But I do closely monitor his viewer counts. When he does taking photos, it's definitely less than when he builds a board. When he builds sure. a board, obviously, it's closer to at least close to a thousand, like 800, 900 these days. But when he does photo, actually taking photos, in the beginning, there's a lot of people tuning in, but they always turn off after like 30, 40 minutes. He goes uh, uh, down to like 300. Yeah, that's it's quite low for Teha. Like you said, that's kind of one of the things about uh, streaming, especially like if you find your niche and you build your community into that, it's really hard to go to something else. Like when I was streaming CNC for so long, or Command & Conquer Red Alert for so long, whenever I switched over to keyboards, you know, one or two of those people would drop in for a few minutes and then kind of dip out. So, you got, you know, anytime you're doing something other than your main thing, if you're not a variety streamer and your audience doesn't expect those different things every time, it's really hard and you're going to lose a lot of your community, um, you know, until you do that same content that they're used to again. But, yeah, like you said, it's, it's definitely like when he – when. Teha, for instance, does do something besides keyboards. He definitely doesn't have the same viewership number that he normally does with keyboard stuff. Um, right. Keep Newb has a good point too. Yeah, I, I, I don't, I, I definitely don't like to look at viewer numbers too. Um, again, all this thing doesn't really matter if you're just going to do it for fun. Um, if I have the time to stream every time I edit, I could. But again, it's not just, it's not efficient for me. Yeah. Uh, to be able to do editing and um, stream at the same time. Because then if you're streaming, there's a bit of an expectation to reach out and engage in a certain way. I'll probably not just edit, but also at the same time try to explain because what's the point of editing, like streaming editing photos if I'm not talking about it? Just like Taya, when he was taking photos, he's kind of speaking out loud his thought process and why he's doing certain things. That really slows you down. I don't know about Teha yeah. or other people, but if I were to stream when while I'm working, when, while I'm taking photos, that would slow me down quite a lot. It would make hold everything so inefficient. Definitely, uh, definitely. But I do want to do more re Lego building, um, so I'll probably do that because. Yeah, and like the gu <laughs> like the Gunpla, like uh, Jordan, it's it's been doing really well for him. I purchased some Gunpla like over a year ago and did. One stream, had a good time doing it on stream, but, you know, my usual people weren't there. It was mostly people that usually watch Gundam stuff, so I learned some, uh, you know, met some cool people doing that, and I've, I've considered going back to it, and me and Joran are supposed to co-stream some Gunpla at some point. I imagine that's still going to happen. Who knows? But, um, yeah, so for keyboard content creation, I think let's let's move on. Also, I want to throw it out there again that anyone that wants to join in the chat hop in discord hop in that general chat uh i would like to see more people join but you know if you're not comfortable that's fine too if people don't aren't interested in that maybe that's something we'll just drop from the stream but let's talk about uh someone had mentioned i can't remember if it was in a stream or during one of our calls that geek hack in particular felt like it was a negative cesspool to them let's let's talk about that and just negativity in the community gatekeeping like how do you guys feel about that kind of stuff do you do you think that geek hack is mostly negative gatekeepers or do you have a different experience i don't i feel like it's it's both there might be some negativity on there but i don't feel like it's all negative um 
I and I personally don't really I've never had that feeling like I want to avoid it because of the negativity or anything. But I also don't I don't dive too deep into the threads a lot of times. I just am looking at the IC post, you know. And if I need some more questions answered or something, then I'll look deeper. But I don't know. I understand what people are saying, but it's not something that affects me that much. Yeah, and I would I would agree with you. I don't think it's super gatekeepy. It was definitely when I was new to the hobby, it felt a little different. And and I think a lot of what people consider gatekeeping in the community isn't really what I would consider gatekeeping because. In my opinion, gatekeeping is preventing other people from getting into the hobby. And I don't think anyone is actively out there trying to stop people from buying stuff, you know. I don't think they're trying to keep people out of the hobby. So, you know, I get called a gatekeeper all the time because, like, I'm pretty outspoken against clones and stuff like that on Reddit. So anytime I make, you know, a comment or something on somebody's post i get oh fucking gatekeeper blah 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 you know so i i feel like that's just kind of an overused thing that people say mainly because i don't want to sound like a dick but it's usually because it's something they can't afford and they well, just want to disagree with other people it comes down to when people are being critical because people you know most of the old heads live there on geek hack and they have a lot of knowledge and so they find a lot of things to criticize and you know that's not always handled the most like productive way and stuff but i think that's what it comes down to is like the the criticism and that there's just a, like a lot more criticism on geek hack but i think that that helps a lot of times too with the actual you know result of the group i or whatever so, but I, I think that it can get out of line <laughs> too, you know? Yeah. Like, like you said about criticism, I think there's two sides to that. Some people can't gracefully take criticism and some people can't gracefully give criticism. So I think that's where the, the negativity that people, uh, interpret it comes from, um, project. Do you spend much time on Geek Hack? What's what's your experience like over there? Um, I don't I don't spend any time on Geek Hack. So I might like open up a like if I'm interested in something, I might open it up and read about it really quick, but I don't scroll through the forums and stuff and stuff like that, so think for a lot of us as well we kind of came into the hobby at a point when reddit was sort of the main main place where people were talking and it seemed more inviting and friendly maybe that's just my take on it i mean i know epsi you've been around for a while i know you spend quite a bit of time on geek hack preparing for your quizzes what's what's your opinion of yeah over there uh, i i don't i don't really see any toxicity i think just people are just giving their opinions about what this what the stuff is and if they don't like it they they pretty much say they don't like it um and i feel like the toxicity just feels like it just comes with the most most of it um is the op just getting butt hurt um, yeah so but otherwise yeah i'm just i'm just going on there to look at stuff for questions and things like that People do use it though. Like there are people who who like that kind of conversation because then you it's you know somewhere it's recorded and you can and go through it. Where sometimes the format for Reddit is a bit harder and it's harder to find stuff. I, I find on Reddit like for me who's not that au fait with it, it I find finding stuff to read and to consume on Reddit is quite hard. Like sure, if somebody gives me a link, I'll, I'll click on it and. I, great there's content for me but to yeah with geek hack is you know I've, I've come from that old school forum based stuff so it's really easy for me to be like oh yeah click on this thing here and go here and um yeah that's yeah, yeah I, I would agree with that i think reddit is more set up to keep new things at the top and you know for things to quickly fade away that aren't getting a lot of views kind of like uh the 4chan system, you know, where if it's not new, if people aren't interested, it, it kind of slowly fades away. Whereas, like you said, 
Geek Hack is a forum, and it is, you know, something for those of us of that are older that have been around the internet for a while. Forums are pretty, you know, we're pretty common and used to be all over the place, and they're slowly kind of becoming, you know, archaic, I guess. Well, yeah, and like Voodoo, as archaic as Geek Hack is, still way easier to navigate and find things than Reddit. For sure, for sure. Um, there's definitely some tricks to use for searching on Reddit but I'm not a master like of them. Use I Google use. instead. I don't know what's up with that internal Reddit search, but it is like the worst search of all yeah. time. It's bad. Yeah. Uh, what about you, Frank? Do you spend much time over on GeekHack other than the usual interest check group buys? Or... No, I mean, I don't really spend that much time. Funny funny thing, I, I my account in GeekHack was created over 10 years ago. So technically, I've been there for ten years, but um, man, I think a lot of this what people talk about toxicity is kind of. I feel like, from my experience, it's more about like what Kerbal said. People don't know how to take it, and people don't know how to say it nicely. Um, and it's not just keyboard; it's everywhere. I've been part of many different photography community before. Same shit. New new people come in, ask the same question hundreds of times. Old people who's been there for already years, they are sick of answering the same thing. So they get pissed off and say, "Hey, here's a Google search. Here, check it out. Let me Google that for you." So, you know, I get the I get both side of the things, but man, it's really not that big of a deal. For both of them like if you have nothing nice to say don't say shit and yeah. if you don't know how to search google man you're you're an idiot too but yeah, don't be yeah. bur- butthurt because someone actually throws some fact at your face you know <laughs> yeah there was a, well uh, i i totally understand the sentiment like on why this is why we're talking about this right now because there are people on geek hack that like trend kind of towards negativity you know then like kind of are negative instead of positive most of the time but i don't feel like that's the majority of people but it i do see it and i understand i think as far as forums go geek hacks pretty tame compared to like the flame wars you used to see back in the 90s early early aughts and so on um that blur effect is is weird okay yeah is that better check check we good now yeah you're doing good yeah yep all right right. yeah every now and then i have to uh restart the audio engine maybe the computer was about to go to sleep i've noticed if it if it goes to sleep then uh, i have to restart the audio engine on voice meter um yeah so i say the general consensus is that the negative uh reputation that geek hack has is not really a thing i think it's probably just more of i would say a lot of the folks that are over on reddit nowadays that are anti-geek hack is because just the way reddit has trended to where it's just become a lot of people that aren't really what i would consider enthusiast but uh yeah i I don't want to start shitting on reddit too much it does a pretty good job of that itself um Let's talk about uh, effects of the pandemic and return a return to normalcy, or will there ever be a return to what was considered normal before the pandemic? Um, this is too big a topic. This is too big a topic. We don't have to enough time. Here. Like I don't even know. Like, it would, you know, I don't well, know. Well, well, we focused that on how that affect us as a content creator, not okay. as a whole. Good, good this, idea. That could this that could that discussion could be a lot more than what we can or what we should talk about actually. On yeah, to, you're right. In, on Twitch actually, especially. Yeah, I just I don't, don't wanna, feel like I am an I authority wanna, in any way to. Yeah. I don't want to de- like danger point, dangerously try to dodge everything. So, uh, how about how about and uh, has have you have you noticed in in changes with uh any type of uh differences that you noticed after 
you know, different counties and states and countries are opening back up to quote unquote normalcy. Uh, people going back to school, but back to office. How has that changed for you and what your uh, changes that you, you witness? What are the, what are some of those uh, uh, changes that you witness as a content creator? I mean, I'm still waiting on group buys that were expected to be fulfilled long ago, namely Vega, Sokka, um, Fuji 65. These are all things that I, at this point I feel like they're not even really being affected by the pandemic. That's just, I mean, this is totally conspiracy theory, but I, I think it's its just kind of a convenient excuse that a lot of these group by runners are using now to kind of more than justify one issue. dragging their feet. But, I mean, I could be totally off base with that, but I, I feel like that's kind of a... kind of a convenient... Shipping's been weird over here. Like... I've just shipped out some packages, one to Sweden, one to America, and one to Australia, all at the same time. The fastest one has been the one that's going to Sweden. Um, and Australia's one has been the slowest, which is weird since it's that the closest weird. to New Zealand. And I mean, I don't, I don't get a lot of stuff from Australia, but it is always like weird whenever I do. I get yeah, stuff. like during the pandemic, I understand because... The, both Australia and New Zealand kind of closed themselves off to the world. And then yes. UPS and uh, USPS, both of them stopped shipping to Australia and New Zealand in some capacity. And so, yeah, so then the connections had been slow as well. But now both New Zealand and Australia have kind of, well, definitely between Australia and New Zealand, we've, we've um, opened up. So you, you don't have to do any isolation or anything to come to New Zealand from Australia and the same vice versa. Um, so, but, so that means more flights, more flights means more packages being sent. But so unless they've been backlogged for, you know, six months, then it's, it's a bit weird. So it kind of relates to, you know, your shipping and, and things like that. Like where, where are your keyboards? Well, um, but like Saka specifically, it was a couple months mm -hmm. ago, they had supposedly shipped and a month ago or so they made a post that the boards have arrived that they should be shipping soon. And it's mm. just like, it's like, what's really going on here? You know, I know they've got a lot of issues with the board. So if they're, you know, trying to QC them, that's one thing, but I think there should be more transparency on this stuff. Personally, I, I think, I think most group by runners, especially ones that are behind schedule, should be making weekly updates, even if it's just an update to say nothing has changed since last week. I mean, whenever you're seeing yeah. one update every month or two, it, it's really disheartening. You know what I mean? So, uh, so should we talk then talk about that topic instead of pandemic? Yeah, I think fair. I think the I think Kerbal, I think that. what you're talking about right now is the delayed uh, group buys. Whatever the reason they're giving, legitimate or not, and some some are using uh, uh, pandemic as one of the reasons. And there's really no way of of, of any of us to know 100 percent that it's true or not. However, but people are there have been group buys that has happened in the last two three years that has been delayed. Uh, luckily, I'm not part of any of that. I think. Uh, but there has been delays, and delays happen a lot, not just GMK, but uh, what I've found out is in this hobby, group by delays are very usual. It's a thing that you would expect, but like it's a curveball, I think transparency is very important. Staying in contact with and com communication with the uh, people who are who believes in your project and pay the money up front, right? I think that's very, uh, that's minimal thing to do, right? Keeping the communication going, right? Oh, guys, sorry, no updates. It's, I'm still waiting just as much as you guys are. Blah, blah, blah. I heard nothing from the manufacturer this week. Something, right? I like I like that communication too. Like when we get it like once every while, you know, a, we know it's still being made. But if there's an update, let us know. Just saying hello. Don't just, you know, we're all waiting for this all together. Make us feel like you haven't forgotten about us. <laughs> um, it's a right. weird feeling, right? Like group by, like yeah, it really yeah. is something. It's a very weird feeling because you're in it all together. Like especially for keyboard, if there's yeah. no group by, you're not making unless you, you know unless you have a lot of money. 
you're not yep. going to get the gore you're looking for. Yeah. Uh, a lot of, I think, a lot of keyboard designers also are not designing keyboard because they want to make money, but per, like they actually want to build a keyboard that they like. Yeah. And yeah. group by people who are jumping on the group by is there to pretty much fulfill designer's dream or goal, per yeah. se. Obviously, we're getting the keyboard too, but I I feel I feel like when you're entering group by, especially with the board, I think you're in in the boat together. Everybody's trying to get this board together. Um, so as a captain of the, of the boat and the designer, or who is uh, heading the uh, leading the the manufacturers and overseeing all that, it could it be it'd be nice if the captain turns around and says, "Hey, we're doing a good job," or yeah. <laughs> Things are going as smoothly as possible. It's, t- it's a long journey, and you know it's, we're doing well. Share those navigation you know, little head charts. nods here and there. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be nice, you know. Yeah, instead of sure. left in the dark for so long. And, and like you um, said, dark yeah. mode. Oh, sorry. And, and, and like you said, dark mode about um, group eyes are slowly becoming less and less. And it, I don't think it's that vendors are pushing for in stock items. What's what's happening is the community is getting a lot more anti group by i mean just like look at the content over the past six months there's a lot more group buys are bad content and, and i've kind of been against group buys for a while now and i like seeing more and more people speaking out against it and uh yeah i, I don't think that it is at all that the vendors are pushing for it because the vendors have the most to gain from group buys I think it's more a lot of the community is like, I'm not buying into group buys anymore. I mean, how many, I, I mean, out of the five of us here, how, how many of you are still entering as many group buys as you were a year or two years ago? Anybody? Um, how many keyboard group buys have I entered total? Like, only two so far. And, but it'll be three next month. But, yeah. uh, how many GMK group eyes am I in? Like, you know, a bunch. A bunch. But, but that's I, and I still why stopped probably, that yeah. a long time ago, too, entering anymore. But that's probably why, like, maybe, you know, people like our labs have gone to in stock. You know, they know that, hey, if we do this and we do it quickly, um, people will buy it. And you have a look at all the success on their their. The, all their boards, really, from Mr. Suit round one. And it doesn't matter about their fiascos, um, you know, all the way to... And I know they keep saying it's not an Owl Labs board, but, like, the QK65 and how many they they sold there straight away, going into round two with new options. Um, and I guess, in some sense, Ven... Uh, not Ven, um, Vega did that as well, um, with some in stock um, before they ran the group by as well. And um, I know that I think um, a lot of their future projects as well will will follow the same format, um, maybe more in stock versus um, than, than Vega. Because I think people are getting pretty sick of waiting. Um, yeah, just uh, I guess people people aren't willing to part with their money like that anymore, especially with the newer people. It just yeah. it seems a very antiquated system of, of doing stuff once the copy has kind of blown up. I mean, yeah. It makes sense back in the day. Yeah, the newer people are all about, I want it now and I want it cheap. Hmm. It's not even about cheap. I, they just want it now. They don't. I think yeah. the, there are sure. definitely some people that are, are really willing to willing pay, to pay for it. Yeah. yeah, and that's why you can see people like uh, uh, extras and you look at, is it, is it Omnitypes? Did they, were they the ones that did GMK Dracula? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think yeah. they did. Yeah. And so, like, you know, they bought, you know, I think they they themselves bought a thousand sets, you know, to to sell as extras because, you know, they. Omni they, type. Uh, sorry, their guys. pricing is so high. I just want to say that, like, the last GMK set I got from Z Frontier and with shipping from China, it was less. Than the retail price that Omnitype charges for the same set, and I don't understand well, why they're charging so much. If you want well, to talk high uh, prices, well, anyone... because 
Go ahead. Running a business in America is a lot more expensive than running a yeah, business yeah. in China. Storage yeah. space costs money. Either you use it or not, you're paying for it every month. And yeah. then you have to think about how many sets they're getting as well. Like mm-hmm. if Omnitypes, Omnitypes is not getting 20, 30 extras. You know, they're getting hundreds and and since yeah. Dracula getting a thousand. So if you even if you think about just um them getting at cost price, what's a thousand GMK sets worth? Mm-hmm. Mm, a thousand about eighty grand probably. Yeah. Eighty to that's eighty grand sunk. Like that's grand. like they don't see that for two and a half years. Yeah. Exactly. And Omnitype Omnitype's been at it for a while too though. Like Companies like Omnitype, Canon Keys, Novel Keys, they have a but lot still more it's working 80, 000, no matter what. But yeah, it's definitely a lot of money. I imagine they're probably taking out loans for it, to be totally honest with I, you. That I think would be I've my said guess. this in stream, my own stream, or maybe it was just uh, one of this group thing that we did before. But if you don't want group buy, that's fine. If you want vendors to mm-hmm. take, put the bill ahead and pay for it and just sell it in stock when they become available you can do that but don't be surprised don't be surprised when the price of in stock sets are a lot more than group buy nope. yeah. Oh, yeah. you cannot oh, no, i'm talking to be- when i'm what i'm talking about is two in stock sets i'm talking about it's like 40 bucks cheaper at other vendors sometimes yeah, for- uh, again but you're we're Go talking two at- different countries and if he so here's the thing Go if look he at buy from China, extra prices yeah but you, here, here's the thing if you buy from outside of a u.s if you do get caught at the uh if you have to pay import tax guess what the price can be about the same or if not more so yeah, yeah for sure sure we're and, and i'm not i'm not saying anything like whatever but it's like you need, there there are reasons why some things are cheaper but that's just because you you pay less doesn't mean it is mm, just viable compared to more expensive pricing? I don't know. It's well, not a good comparison in my opinion. For sure, for sure. Uh, let me put this out there. We've reached the two-hour mark. I mean, I'm, I'm fine oh, to continue shit. going Bye. if you guys want to keep going. <laughs> but if anybody No, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. talking to you. Right, we're out, Frank. Let's go. If anybody Get out of here. I know. We'll uh, this you shit. start streaming and we'll, we'll go on to your stream, okay, Frank? Let's go. We'll go raid. Are you streaming tonight, FC? Were you planning on streaming? Yeah, I stream. I stream in two hours though, so it's okay. Okay, you guys right, can be okay. Good. So I didn't know if you needed. Uh, to we should ra- uh, or... raid uh, Jay Verb. Another well, humble man, old man from East Coast. Well, I've got a, I've got a couple things to give away, and we can continue oh, God, this man. if if everybody's fine with, you know, I'm I, fine with uh, extending man. it if everybody else is. Otherwise, let's we can do these giveaways and end the thing. So if you guys, you know. It's uh, it's whatever, but um, I'm gonna run a couple marbles. We're gonna just do two, two Grand Prix races. The first thing I'm gonna give away is this shirt that Gian sent me that doesn't fit me. It is a large shirt. If you can't wear it and you win, please let's All right. re-roll. If it's large in Korean t-shirt yeah, size, yeah. it's actually it's, really yeah. medium in American it's like, size. It's like Asian it. large. It's yeah, it's Asian a large, large is medium American. <laughs> It's a yeah. Gildan shirt, uh, G-I-L-D-A-N. Uh, they seem pretty similar to American sizes. Like I could fit oh, into the it? large. Yeah, I, I could yeah. fit into a large, but it was uh, it was just tight on me like a large is. Uh, yeah, that's believe, definitely a medium. I don't believe it's going to shrink, but um, no, nah, it's it's pretty spot on with what I would consider a regular large here. But um, yeah, Gion works on the front. Gian works on the back above the neck. These are the same shirts that his employees wear. They're at the factories or at his at his manufacturing facility at the factory zone. Yeah. So um so yeah, so it should be should be North American sizes. As far as I can tell, it's pretty much the same size as the shirts that we have here normally. We're gonna do this one first, and then we've got a desk mat to give away as well. We're going to do just two race Grand Prix, use votes, get them votes in. I'm going to run to the restroom here in a second. Project, you got to dip out. That sounds good. Uh, throw in some votes. Um, it's two maps. You know, Portal Purgatory is not banned here, but, you know, it's it's totally up to those of you in chat. I'm going to give it about 30 more seconds, and then we'll start the race. 
and I'll give it a few minutes for everybody to hit exclamation point play. Well, I go and pee again because a coffee, a tea, and a water will wreak havoc on uh, my bladder at least. All right, Devil's Chaos Hard Landing. Here we go. It's the first one, exclamation point play. You should be able to type in exclamation point play now as long as this isn't one of those crazy maps that has, uh, has um, a video screen thing intro. Uh, let me see. I'm going to give it three minutes. Start that countdown. Run it to the restroom. I'll be right back. If for some reason I do win, I will give it to the third place finisher after the two races. I see my Shandon Codes shirt. It says Anti-Linear Tactical Club, and it's got some nice flowers on it. Oh, my Shout God. Shout out to Shandon. That's kind of cute. It is pretty cute, and it comes with cute stickers, too. All right, we only have 12 people that have joined. Is there, is there that many lurkers? Wake up, guys! Exclamation point! Play for a Gian Works shirt. Uh, Epsi, I still need you to send me your address if you want me to send you that small. Oh, really? Okay, cool, cool. I wasn't sure if uh, Gian, oh not Gian, um, Jordan. Jordan really wanted it. He wanted it, but you you asked first, so you know. Oh, when are you going to check on how much actually shipping was? Because I don't, once I don't want to. Once I have the address and can, uh, oh, okay, okay. I can check. <laughs> I, I, I thought I gave it to you a long time ago. Hmm. You may have. Uh, I don't. I have to scroll back through and see. Free shit down. Yeah. Right. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, folks, I'm going to log off on Discord. I'll catch you guys on chat. Peace. Later. Thanks for joining. Yeah, us, Frank. Frank. See you, bro. Thanks for coming. Yeah, so there's a black and red one that I really like that um I wish would fit me. I've talked to Gian and he hasn't invoiced me for the stuff I wanted yet. He's wanting me to wait till he launches his site next month, so hopefully I can get some shirts in my size. He said he had some extra larges that he would let me get next time, but we'll see. If he's gonna be launching his site, I doubt I'll be able to compete with him to sell his products, so likely won't be something i could tell you to a project getting in there at the last second we got a few seconds left for anybody else that wants to join this is the first of two race grand prix for a gian works t-shirt dark mode media taking an early lead there who is jp i don't remember that person but apparently what is that is that something new what is that crap is oh no that's somebody in the race i was thinking that was the ghost but okay never mind i feel stupid now Deeds. <laughs> Dark Mode Media, formerly known as Deeds. Frozen Forever. Did you get in there in time? Triggity, you're out of there, man. That sucks. My, that's all right. Still my anybody's ghost is still Grand Prix. There. Your ghost is still there. Oh, that's right. You do have the track record. Dark Mode, are you out of there too? Wow. What did you fall? What, is there like a hole that you can fall off there that I'm not seeing? There's another one down, another one down. It's looking like Bitter Seeds has taken first place for the moment. Frank is out of there. JP hot on this tail of Bitter Seeds. Keep Noob coming in third. It looks like Epsi and me neck and neck with Project Builds on his tail and Triggity's Ghost and uh, Mad Asian. And then who's holding up last? Vile Degen. Still anybody's race. Being as it's a Grand Prix, you just really just want to finish. You know, if you don't if you don't finish, that's what really hurts. But being as there's not a whole lot of people joining, it is definitely still anyone's race. 
Did I just somehow take the lead? I don't know oh, what project. happened there. Got Project Hot on my tail. Oh, oh, wait, which way is going to be faster? Looks like the middle is the way to go. I'm holding out first. Bitter Seeds right behind me. Project making that jump. Epsi making the jump. JP, Keeb Noob, Mad Asian, Trigity's Ghost. Everybody is ahead of the track record uh, as of right now. Besides Vile DGen, there you go. He makes the jump. JP, looks like you got yeeted. Sorry about that, my dude. Uh, looks like I'm holding down first. I totally missed me taking first place. I don't know how. Uh, you're a fat guy anyways. Hey, I can relate. That's the reason I'm giving away. If I could wear them, I wouldn't be giving it away. That's for sure. Um, looks like I think this is the longest path that I have taken here. Seems like normally the middle paths are the fastest. Uh, Keeb Noob, oh, you're out of there as well. Um, looks like me, Mad Asian, Project, Bitter Seeds, Vile Gen, all fighting down the corkscrew. FC taking that little elevator up, falling right through. Looks like you did not get hung up in the little, uh, holy bowly, I guess that's what we'll call it. The, the hole bowl, the bowl with the holes. Um, it's hard to say who is going to take first. Looks like FC. Looks like Epsi is pulling away from the pack here while the rest of us are dealing with this corkscrew. Damn, I'm going to get two shits. Yeah, how about that? <laughs> if if you do win this one, <laughs> <I'll>, <laughs> we'll send the other one to Jorin. How about that? Or take them both, you know, if you win it. Fair how, and do you, it. How, do you, how does he know that he won't fit um, the large? Because the large would be more of a medium I would say I, it, he seems a lot uh, yeah, bigger I than don't I am. Know. He, he, yeah, I, I don't know how. He also says he's only like 5'8". I, I assumed he was like way taller than oh, me. Oh, okay. But he's, he's, like... he's a little, he's taller than me, but yeah, he's, he's a lot more muscular than me. He's a little taller than me too, definitely. Uh, oh, I'm caught up here. I'm not going to win. Definitely less girth. Epsil, uh, Epsi with the first, Mad I'm Asian coming win. in second. Oh, Bitter Seeds pulling in on third, it looks like. Let's see who's going to get through their next project. Rolling in for that fourth place spot. Looks like I am going to finish fifth. And Vile Degen, barring something crazy happening, should be getting sixth place. He wears out of shirts because he wants to show off his picks. That's how he does 60 press-ups in one go. That's That seems like a uh, pretty, pretty good uh, guess there as to why he would want a small... He also wears tighter. Yeah, exactly. I, if, if I wear a tighter shirt, my man boobs are on <laughs> full display, worse than they already are. All right, let's go. Let's go on over to the next map. We're gonna shorten that. Uh, starting you're coming. Yeah, slowly but surely, Vodagen. Slowly but surely. Slow and steady finishes the race in this case. All right, let's go ahead and hit that exclamation point play. We're going to give you 60 seconds to join, starting that countdown. Still anybody's race, you know, with only, what, six people finishing? There's a very good chance that the six of us may not finish this race, and then all you've got to do is, you know, cop first place here on this race, and it is yours. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab this decimate that I'm going to be giving away. This will likely be... The last of the samples I have to give Fuck away. Fuck you, Kerbal. Directly from the samples that I had made. Uh, Fuzzin' Forever. Thank you for the follow. I don't even remember which one this is. This is just the last one in the box. I think it's a... Uh, Fuck you, Kerbal. Oh, this one is... A U4T. U4T got thock. Got thock. So this is going to be what we'll give away next we're going to do another uh two race grand prix for that as long as you're in the u.s i will ship it for free if you are outside of the u.s you are responsible for shipping same with this shirt sorry i forgot to mention that um no special requirements you know it'd be nice if you've been following me but you know i'm not gonna i'm not gonna make it so that only people that have been following for a certain amount of time are eligible um if you do win i would ask that you Hop in my Discord and message me there so we can work out getting that to you. Come on, somebody get through the hole. Who's it going to be? Who's going to drop through the hole first? Keep Noob didn't make it. He was bad. Oh, Keep Noob didn't make it. Oof. 
Sorry about that, Keeb Noob. All right, that's it. We're starting all over. No, I'm sorry. I can't do that. My bad. Imagine entering a giveaway and not following. Eh, it happens, you know. I have definitely seen people win and then be denied because they weren't following. Am I the track record on this race? Looks like I am. Hmm. Interesting. You are. Like I said before, if I do happen to get that first place and is dude is this like the world's longest freaking start there we go finally uh if i do win it will go to the third place finisher in the grand prix uh val Gen taking that shortcut it looks like with mad asian hot on his trail dark mode media right behind him uh, coming up on the left side black tar frozen forever me my ghost Characters I can't uh, read, Bitter Seeds, Triggity, and Pokey Brit. Valdi Jen went from last to first, just like that. He is, uh, what the heck? He or she, sorry, I didn't mean to assume. Uh, looks like your luck turned around for this race. Oh, what the heck? Whoa, what just happened there? And oh, I was about to say, that would be, cr what? How did you get all that speed? Bitter Seeds came through there like a damn bat out of hell and then got yeeted off there at the last moment. Black Tar is out of there. Sorry about that. Triggity, what is going on here? Are you just, just deciding to take a nice Sunday stroll here at the end? What, what's, <laughs> don't know what just happened there. The uh, Wednesday stroll. Yeah, just the just the Wednesday after Wednesday evening, Thursday morning stroll. Uh, Triggity with first place looks like Vile is coming in mm -hmm. for that second place finish. Uh, Triggity, what did you place in the first one? Do you remember? I you didn't, did you? I got you did. Okay, so this this could still uh still be anybody's race. Let's check out. Could be Vile this. DJ. It very well could be. So let's see who is going to be the winner of this gray and black Gian's works shirt in large mad asian in third triggity in second and in first epsilon keyboards rigged epsi yes <laughs> yes <laughs> perhaps epsi i win everything send it all to me Hang on, hang on. I wish you could have seen the, the look on his face. He just kind of looked off to the side, confused for a moment there, like, wait, did I win? Uh, <laughs> I, I'm assuming you want to claim, and then we'll uh, we'll discuss getting it to you after the stream. Look, uh, just, 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 yeah, just see how the shipping is. If it's um, if it's too much, it's we'll, too much, uh, then yeah, we'll, we just give it away again. Reroll it. It'll be another giveaway. Stream sounds good. Sounds good. Let's do. Uh, do you guys want to do another two race Grand Prix for this mat, or how about a Royale? What do you think? Grand Prix or Royale? Somebody, somebody, anybody, give me some feedback. Triggity, what do you want to see? A Royale or a two race Grand Prix? I prefer the races. I prefer right. the races. Two race Grand Prix it is. Well, we got two votes for Royale in chat, but you know. Oh, well, let's see, yeah. We'll do. We'll just do it. We'll stick with the race. Well, yeah, we'll just stick with the races. How about that? Race two to two. We're sticking with races. Get your votes They're in, both guys. Random exclamation point vote. Everybody's asking for Royale, but yeah, sorry, I, I do enjoy do Royale, Royale, but we're gonna let's just stick with what we what I initially said, and it will be for. Let me show this one more time here, for this map right here. The you why am I zoomed in so close? Oh, I'm knocking stuff over. Got Thok, we've got gazoo.com down here on the right, curballskeys.com on the bottom left. There was only three of these made. Um, they were samples for desk mats that I am having made soon. Um, I've got some new images that are. Being done, we'll be doing uh, U4T, a Got Thok, and a Got Boba. The photos are from the world famous Dark Mode Media. Um, he has taken a photo. Yeah, I saw the photo the deeds. Row. It looks really good. Yeah, I love that you still call them deeds. Um, <laughs> so I should be getting samples of those pretty quick. These last samples arrived pretty quick, so I'm hoping to have. Desk mats in stock and ready for sale by middle of next month. Is it going to be Portal Purgatory? Is it going to be Portal Purgatory? It looks like it. 
Sorry, Dark Mode. The the masses have spoken. <laughs> I I really hope Thank you, Mad Asia. I really hope that you win Portal Purgatory just to change your uh feelings on it. You got sixty seconds, guys. Exclamation point play. It's two race Grand Prix. Let's hop in there. Um, who are we gonna raid, guys? Anybody got a who was it that Frank said? Frank, who did you who did you suggest we raid? He said J Verb. Uh Chris is on. Rumi. Yep. Appa. Alright. I'm I'm off. Thanks, Kevin. Uh, and Triggity. All right, I'll catch you guys later. Thanks for joining. Have I'll be on in uh, two hours if you're still awake. Uh, I'll likely still be awake. Yeah, no, no. I'm not saying you have to be. I'm just saying, like, you know, I know that you are uh, insomniac. Yeah, if if I'm I awake, you know, around, you, know. Right. I'm awake you know I'll be there. I'm awake. You know I'll be there. See ya, Epsy. All right. Um. Let's see. Yeah, Dark Mode, that's fine if you want to leave. Or you can come on in here. Come on in. Come on down. Either one. <laughs> come on down to the, to the stream is right. Holy... All right, here we go, guys. Um, oh, and he's out. <laughs> Let's see who's going to take that early lead. Who's going to be the first one through the shoot? Vile DGen, looks like your luck has been turned around. Hopefully it will continue. I guess it really doesn't matter because this is Portal Purgatory and I forgot. So let's just get on down here to the end. Let's sit back. It kicked you. What do you mean it kicked you? I pulled you in. I think. Let's see what happens. Huh. Did it, kick, did What's it kick him again? What is happening? Hang on. Why is it Does he that? need that? Does he need a roll? He shouldn't. Permissions. Advanced permissions. Who do we got? We got a bunch of portals. Vile. Alright, let's try one more time. We can't see the goal right now on screen, so it's a real surprise if anybody oh, wins. Oh, shit, sorry. <laughs> dark mode. Okay, good. It lets you stay that time. That's, I figured it out. Hey, let me say it is time. Hi, Dark Mode. All right, who's Ooh. who's going to do this? Oh, you Who... have such a nice camera, Dark Mode. Yeah. For, it better be. Of course. Big, big yeah. surprise <laughs> for, the, for the photographer to have a nice camera. $4,000 for the shit. Oh, 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 here we go. Mad Asian. Ah. I'm watching ads. I can't even Stupid see. bullets. <laughs> What's going on, buddy? I didn't see you join. Warthog. Oh, no. It's like down to what? Three? We got Triggity. We got Frozen Forever. I don't know what Frozen is. I, I've got to know I Frozen Forever. What? What is Frozen? Triggity, I think you just got yeeted. Yep. So long, and thanks for all the... Content? Portals. You do two or three? Yeah. Two. Two. So it's this one and the next one. Probably should have done three with it being Portal Purgatory since it's going to so be... So whoever wins the next one really wins. Yeah. Okay. Or, or if yeah, either yeah. of these guys So it's kind of like one. If either of these guys finish, they are definitely uh, a shoe-in, to say the least. Yeah, Portal Purgatory is definitely... Uh, it's my favorite map, but it's not really conducive for Grand Prix. Because if one person does finish, they have a hell of an advantage. No winner. So surprising. All right. Let's go right, on to the next one. My head shine too much. Hold on. Still, still worth it. I am a... <laughs> uh, You're good. You're good. Uh, exclamation point play, guys. Exclamation point play. Let's give it 90 seconds, just because I don't want Keeb Noob to uh, miss it this time. You got your 90 seconds has started. Exclamation point play. Uh, it is literally anybody's Grand Prix, since no one at all finished the first race. So, uh, yeah, so we're giving away the last sample desk mat that i will likely be giving away the uh got thok u4t version 
So you will have a unique one of three desk mat if you do have you build your set yet. I have not built the set 75 yet. I do have both of the PCBs populated with uh, Milmax sockets, though. I'll likely I got a guy seeing if he can build a bunch of palm plates for me. Oh, yeah. I've got palm plates ordered from Green Door Geeks. I just got the shipping notification today. Yeah, but That's... I won't be paying for them. Oh, well, hey. Lucky you. I already paid for mine, or else I'd say get me in on that deal. And he's going to see if he can order me some carbon fiber to cut the plates, too. I, I feel like that's expensive. I don't know how much carbon fiber is, but I get the plates for like twenty bucks, and it'll cut them oh. free. Well, that's not bad. Oh, I would have expected. He's also that sounds uh, nice. He's also doing some other work for me. Nice, nice. You guys have ten seconds left. Exclamation point, please. This is your last few moments to join. We got fourteen folks in here. The odds are good for everybody. It is still anyone's race. Whoever wins this be? one, really? Because nobody won the last one. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, with this being a desk mat, keep in mind that if you are international, you are responsible for shipping, and it's likely going to be expensive. So if you are not willing to pay, at, I would say probably a minimum $25 in shipping. When did all these people get through here? <laughs> I'm like up there watching, and yeah, please... Go ahead and pass it on to someone else or re-roll because I had to re-roll three times to give away one of the desk mats because once the winners realized the price for international shipping, they were out. So uh, Val Jin holding down first place. We got Mad Asian hot on his trail. Stupid bullets passing Triggity. Nope, slowing down. I thought you were going to pass him. Black Tar, sorry. You are out of there, my dude. Uh, it's looking like Vile still holding down first for the moment. Mad Asian hot on his tail. Let's see. It's looking like Stupid Bullets, Triggity, Keeb Noob, Neck and Neck. Oh, that turned around real quick there. Stupid Bullets. Oh, nope. He's he's gaining that speed. So it looks like there is a little bit of advantage to going further up on that ramp. You definitely get a little more speed on the downstroke. Uh, who's going to be the first one through this hole? Who's it going to be? It's looking good for Val. And Val Jin is definitely through there with Triggity hot on his tail. Keeb Noob coming up in third. Frank in fourth. And a Ghost in fifth. Uh, this, let's see how this goes. Oh, and that's the stopping force of the paddle. Keeb Noob just getting knocked off. Ah, oh, that sucks. Sorry about that. So long and thanks for playing. Looks looks like everybody is just getting. Oh oh wait there we go. Triggity's through dark mode. Valdi Jen, all three of you. You can still get popped off. Let's see what happens here. Oh it looks like dark mode's pulled into first, and it's looking pretty good for you, dark mode. I would say it is a certainty. There you go. First place for Mr. Dark Mode Media. Valdi Jen in second. Triggity in third. Frank pulling in fourth. Somebody just got yeeted. Who was it? Bitter Seeds with some major hang time there. Uh, we got Dark Mode in first. Vile in second. Triggity third. Frank in fourth. Super Bullets in fifth. Mad Asian coming in at sixth. It's going to be either Warthog or characters I can't read in seventh. Looks like Warthog is going to be in seventh. The characters in eighth. Pokey Brick coming in ninth. And I am just back here struggle busting it. Uh, I've got a feeling after all that struggle, I'm going to get popped off of here. Will I will I get popped or will I make it? Oh, wow. I actually made it through. So it looks like I will be finishing in first dark mode. Congratulations. I'm assuming Yay. you want to claim. Yeah, I'll claim it. All right, I can cool. add it to my 42 desk mats. Ah, I thought I had a lot. Yeah. We had about, about the same amount there. Um, <laughs> Dude, how about I'm just glad it wasn't me because I already have one and remember last time I won. <laughs> And I already had one, so yeah. yeah, we would have to re-roll for sure. Um, who have we decided we're gonna raid? Have we have we decided? Those names are totally wrong. I'm not gonna There's bother fixing them right now. We're getting Dark Mode's showing us some desk mats here. Or showing us the corners of desk mats. Yeah, I have currently one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on my desk. And that's mainly just because I'm too lazy to take them off when I want to switch desk mats, so they just keep stacking up. I've got seven, and then the the F to the P. Did your floppy processor mats come? 
They have not arrived yet. Uh, last Did you I see checked, this one, Dark Man? they still hadn't hit the U.S. Um, all Somebody right. snatched up the one that I wanted. From which that one site. did you I'm want? Really upset. The the green with the greenish blue with the orange print. Uh, this is floppy. I don't even That's remember the which one ones I, I ordered. Hang on, which ones did I order? Let's see. Did I order it on that email address? I did. Okay, so I ordered the metallic tiger keyboard desk mat and the toxic and carbon colorway of the original desk mat. I can't remember what those colors are. What's what was the website? It's just floppyprocessor.com, right? For anyone that hasn't yeah. seen uh, yeah. these desk mats, they're pretty dope. Let's take a quick look here at the site. Shoppy. Wait. Catalog. There we go. Should we raid should we raid Rumi, do you think? We could raid Rumi. That works for me. Um so the one that you just held up, was that the metallic one? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, so I've got that That's one the... coming. And then I have oh wait, what's this pig one? I don't think that was there when I Oh, that's a mouse pad, okay. And and the TKL fits on it perfectly and even the full sized Philco fits on it just like by a millimeter. Nice. Yeah, nice. You see the green with the orange right there? This that's this the one? one that I wanted. That yeah. one I have ordered. I got that one. You're probably the one that took it. I ordered mine. Oh, jeez. How long ago was it now? I ordered mine on April 9th. So, unless you were looking at it 19 days ago, I probably didn't didn't cop the one that you were looking at. And then I got this one, the carbon. No, I think it was but, like last week. Yeah, so. I, d- I had I definitely... it in my cart. And I oh, keep there, noob. And I was going to go hop in there to buy it. And then I said, no, you're sold out. I'm like, oh, thanks. Ooh. Oh. Keep that. Yeah, keep noob. Do a collab. That'd be awesome. Do you, do you want to uh, share some leaks there, keep noob? Like, what's the what's the uh, plan on that, or you do you want to keep it under wraps? So I would. I'd you know, like she's to... signing an NDA. Come on now. <laughs> Let's see. Let's get this raid cracking off here. We're going to raid Rumi. Ruby, Rumi has maybe joining us in the future. I don't want to say for sure. It's, uh, why do I have this up? We still have, um, still got to get confirmation from her, but she seemed interested in joining in the future. So hopefully she will join us. If not, that's fine too. Uh, let me kick that off. Yeah, his style really matches your set's theme. Ah. Ooh, I like pizza. Um, <laughs> let me let me throw out the thank yous for the stream before I forget and get distracted here and yes. don't tell everyone thank you. Yes. Um, thanks to Thrilly for the follow. Thanks to Horty Who for the follow. Thanks to Ultra Kitten for the resub. Thanks to Keep Noob for the gigantic raid of fifteen. Gnarly Charlie for you for the follow. Tiny for the Gigantic rate of 115. Klosty for the follow. Halu Cheesy for the follow. Tiny for the follow. Mr. Anju for the follow. Frozen Forever for the follow. And the characters that I cannot read for the follow. Uh, thanks everyone for hanging out. I hope we didn't bore you too much. I think we had a good time. I hope you had a good time. Uh, future next co streams. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's looking like the next one is going to happen May 10th. May 10th, May 11th, probably May 10th. Come on back. Um, once we have that definitely set uh, set in stone, uh, we'll start sharing that information with everybody. Thanks so much for hanging out, guys. Please uh, hit up our suggestion form. Give us some, you know, some suggestions, things you would like to see. I did not have the link ready. Boom, there's the link. Oh, yeah, wait, cancel, cancel. You're a troll. I canceled the raid. We didn't do a... um. Raid message. What should we do? Um, yeah, Twitch raid. Do we want to uh, say who's going to be on the next stream, Kerbal? What's she, what's or is she that not? Windex? Do we want to say? Oh yeah, I did mention that during the stream. The next stream is going to have uh, baking pie of Kibio, Danny. Um, he is the 
driving force and the founder of Kibio. So he'll be joining us to talk about subjects we're still not sure on. So Let's... I don't want to. I don't want to split keywords will be talked about <laughs> likely. A, a lo- I, I definitely want to um, learn more about his process for his PCB design. Yeah. Kibio is awesome. Keep noob. And if you do happen to make a purchase promo code curveball, save you 5%. Um, what, what are we going to do for here for a raid? What is, what is Remy doing on stream? He's rebuilding a wind X, wind right? X. Wind X. Yep. Um, don't want to hmm. blow on a computer. Don't want to blow on a we... keyboard. <sighs> Give it a wind test. Wind I was thinking test. Windex, like, ch- 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 how about, how about, um, wind tunnel test. Can you clean mirrors with that Windex? Is that, is that, <laughs> sure. Is that, is that okay? Or do you got I'm something a fan of pet jokes? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I'm a fan of. That lab brother's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Ask if it heals everything. Just wait, what? What, I, what? I, I'm, I don't I don't get that one. <laughs> I'm, gonna... I'm lost with you. I'm lost with you. <laughs> the movie, the the Greek wedding movie, their wind their Windex and everything, you know, because they it. they like use it for everything. I get it. I get it. it. I get it, loud brother. Yeah, I haven't seen it, so I'm sorry. Joey Joey Fatone, you know, <laughs> the fat one. This <laughs> is what was yeah, that I know. from? What, that what was from, funny uh, name. It was from, um, well, has the chat been off of this scene the whole time? The uh, It was a robot chicken skit where they had Joey Fatone on it, and they were like, Joey Fatone, the fat one. <laughs> like, how did they get him to agree to that? But anyways, all right, let's do this raid one more time. There we go. All right. Wait, what? What is, what are you doing here, Twitch? Why do you got to be yeah, so remember, weird? if you vote for 35, you're a troll. I don't care. Can't Remember, my mind. every time. Every time. My mind. Nope. Uh, a vote for 35 is a vote for uh, Ukraine freedom. Yeah, I'm not living in Ukraine, so no. <laughs> a, a, vote for, a vote for 35. <laughs> every time you vote for 35, uh, a, a puppy gets a An home. angel gets his wings. Yeah, an angel gets his wings. Yeah. Every time you vote for mm-hmm. 35. Yeah, um, let, let, him, let, let him fall to the ground. Don't, nope. A keyboardist peace. loses his opportunity. World, nope. yeah. world peace care. world peace spreads a little further nope. uh nope. We'll go please copy and paste this red raid message with my stupid joke that i came up with um cast thanks so much for hanging out uh may 10th thanks, will likely be our next go stream my next stream will be wednesday at 10 p.m eastern standard time of next week triggity what time is your next stream this saturday um is my key anniversary. So 11 Central this Saturday. I got a bunch of stuff because guess what? I got too drunk to stream this last Saturday. So we got two weeks worth of stuff. I got a bunch of stuff that came in. I have a portal build and, you know, just some fun stuff too. So, yeah. So check out my man Triggity. If you haven't followed him, go give him a follow. Uh, Also, if you haven't followed any of the other people that were in stream tonight, Hit them up with a follow. Thanks so much, guys. Hope you have a great rest of your night. I look forward to seeing you on the next stream or in another stream. See ya. What does Chewie do on Max Hunt Deck? Does he do like that whole... <laughs> okay. Let's see. All right, what's Rumi up to over here? All right, guys. Um... Things went well, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Any... Pretty yeah. Good. I mean, this, this one was completely just like open forum. So, yeah, kind of all off the cusp. Oh, my good. Why can't yeah, I but, hear? Okay, okay. Can I, okay, can I chime in? I on play video real quick? games. I lurk in everybody's yeah. streams. Do I do a lot things. of social media Welcome management everybody. for people. Um, and a lot of the things you guys will, were going by. Uh, Join one of Kerbal's co streams one day. Correct. Maybe. We'll see. Hey, Keep okay. Noob, how's your stream? In a stream? sense of between Please YouTube and, and, and Twitch. My flawless Let keyboard is no longer keyboard. flawless. You live on Twitch. Uh, and then, it's what yeah, you know. my uh, camera died. But if you actually take a step so back and so look at like Andy Nugent, we'll for it to cool down right the streamer now. that's here on Twitch, but he also streams uh, Andy on Wynn, so yeah. the of streaming is basically He actually has doing, more viewers on YouTube on his weekly streams there yeah, than he does on Twitch. I was struggling. Twitch. I kind of felt bad. Yeah. Well, yeah, well, he's got that. If you want to be successful, I'll agree with 
I'll agree with you that if you want to be like a successful a Twitch streamer, you basically have to have a YouTube channel. That's exciting. It's not with only content. That, but, you, but you have to diversify. That's super exciting. If you look at all bigger content creators, your mods are on point. Really just yeah, they are on point. Hi, Anything. Bitter Seeds. How are you? They use mm -hmm. YouTube or TikTok yeah, or a different platform to.